Hi, Scrubs. I hope you're well. Hello, you awesome people. Hello, Starfam. And welcome back. It's 2021. We are still here with our podcast, and it's awesome. You know, um, I'm happy. I'm happy to be back. We had a very interesting topic, by the way. Because it feels like every episode we had, we somehow always touch it that our pl that players in Star Steeple are stressed in some kind of way regarding the game. So I was like, you know what? Let's have an episode where we're just digging deep into what can cause stress in Star Steeple Online. And of course, it's not just us three this time. So we have the first guests of two, uh, 2021. That's the year. And it is none other than Abigail Pinehaven and Ivy Rainpaw, also called a Siren. Welcome, guys. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. We're so happy to have you here. Thanks um, for having us. Thank you for having us. Very humbled yeah. that you guys chose to have us on. Yeah. It's, well, of course, we, we do our research and we're like, okay, who could be fitting for this topic? And we, we just felt you two were going to have a really fun discussion this time. With this, uh, topic. Did you pick us because you thought we were stressed? Yes, you're, you're, you seem like very stressed players. <laughs> no, you seem like the Thank opposite you. kind that you can give tips maybe in the end of how not to be stressed in certain stuff. So that's why. Um, yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, that, that's our guest, you guys. We are five today, so it's gonna be probably, you're gonna try not to make this a very long episode, which requires me to not talk as much. Let's move on <laughs> <laughs> to personal update of January and February. It's the beginning, as I said, of 2021. What has happened, Abby? Um, hello. So, honestly, it's been up and down. There's been a lot going on. Haven't been on Star Stable as much, which has kind of been a bit sucky. Uh, just mm. working a lot, mostly, as I assume like yeah. many people are, you know, the start of the year. But honestly, yeah. nothing too interesting as of yet. But, you know, just cracking on with things. Mm. Fun. Okay. And, and Cece, how did school work go? Are you done? Uh, yes, I'm done. Uh, January was really... Uh, it was so stressful because it was, um, it was time for my final project. Yeah. So, yeah, I was stressing a lot with that uh, but I got it in in time and I got a good grade so I'm really really happy congrats Ooh, cool congrats <laughs> thank you <laughs> um, yeah and then for February I haven't been doing much just figuring out what the next step in life will be <laughs> um, after finishing my course but in Star Stable something very interesting happened in February <gasps> I finally what? got to level 23. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Congrats. Congratulations. Yes, nice. So that was really cool. It just happened. Yeah. I was like, wait, what? I went up a level? That haven't yeah, happened like, I, in five years. I don't remember years. that sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the sound? <laughs> yeah. So that, that was really cool. Nice. Yeah. Fun. And well, for me, I'm going to keep it short. I have been working and I have been streaming. Uh, but I did get some good... Uh, well, I also reached level 23. But as you know before, I just don't care about levels. So I it gave me <laughs> and then I moved on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm so happy that you're happy about the 23. Yeah, I guess it's a big number. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, like, hey. <laughs> yeah, I got some other good news not too long ago that I got an apartment. Yay! Yay! Yes! And I will be moving in August, so it's oh, wow. five months from here, and I am gonna be insane in five months. Nice. So, <laughs> but it's still happy news. I'm yes, very excited. Yes. Yes. Um. Yay! So that's just basically it for me. How has it been for you, Siren? Ah, uh, it's been pretty good. Everything's been quiet lately. Um, learning my uh, new computer system. I had got a new computer back in November. So I'm, I'm pretty much just learning the new system of that and getting my channel up and running again because I had to stop for a bit because my other computer just decided to commit oh. suicide. So I was like, okay. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, that, that does require a break. I ain't yeah. gonna that. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, but I'm excited that you're getting started up again. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I might as well... Also mentioned, we are not you doing the usual introduction of guests this time. It might have been because I forgot, but <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, you can, of course, as always, find the links to both Abigail's and Siren's platform in the description down below. So if you want to go and follow them, 
And I do know that Abby streams a lot and is, well, Siren is getting her channel up and it's, that's very exciting. So, Thank you. Yeah. Uh, but both of you have been playing for quite uh, a long time, right? At least yes. I, Abby. Yeah. Yes, uh, I think I started playing in 2014, in like mm -hmm. April of 2014, and Ooh. you know, it's been on and off, it's not been like a hardcore addiction, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I've been around you're for OG. quite a while. Yeah, you're an OG. I, I, okay. Am I an OG? Would I be counted yes. as an OG? I, I, I would <gasps> say OG is OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that is an honorary, but I will take that and wear that with pride. Thank I think you. that's like <laughs> the last part of OGs. I think mm, okay. the beginning of 2014-ish. Okay. And it. how long have you been playing Siren? I've been playing since 2012. Oh. Uh, November oh. 2012. Never mind. <laughs> Here is an OG. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I but, feel young. Yeah, but before this, I used to get the older uh, PC game versions, like uh, the Starshine Legacy. Oh, yeah. And yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and mm. the like yeah. the seasonal riders games. I yeah. still have them. Uh, I used to play them. And then Star Stable, and then I heard the announcement Star Stable was gonna make a whole entire gaming platform, and I had to just sign up as soon as I could. Cool. Oh, that's all. That, well, yeah, that is definitely OG. Um, <laughs> okay, so so sorry I didn't do the regular introductions, but at least now you know backstory and, uh, well, at least how long these are played. And as I, I well, OGs, uh, they are, and you can find the links in the description down below. Um, TC, how has the beginning of your year been? Terrible. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna keep I'm this sorry. real, real short. Um, I went back to do a remote learning course um, during oh, sort of midway through the start of that. Then uh, our family dog got sick and sadly mm -hmm. passed away uh, recently. So I kind of took a. It ended up being like a month um, break, mm -hmm. kind of. Uh, from YouTube, uh, because I was so busy and also that as well. So I'm only kind of getting back into my stride, as it were, really. But uh, yeah, 2021 so far has sucked. <laughs> oh. I'm I'm not gonna disagree with you on that mm. part. Then yeah. no. Oh. oh well, let's hope it goes better from here. Yeah. yeah. Even though it's gonna be tough, I know. Okay. Well, yeah, that's that's been uh, that's been life already starting great <laughs> and moving on to our topic which is about stress as i said in the beginning stress in star Stable online um first we want to thank all our listeners for the contribution of questions we got when we asked about your perspectives and if you had anything you wanted us to talk about regarding this topic and uh, they were all good answers however we have decided to save some for other topics where we think they are more so if you don't find your questions anywhere today in this episode, just you wait and see. You wait and see. And yes, then topic stress. And let's start with what is stress. I'm gonna explain that stress is something that can be good for us. One wouldn't think so because the word stress is generally seen as a bad word. But it gives us energy and strength to do what we need to do. But if, stress too, uh, if you stress too much under a long period of time, our body will take damage. Uh, it is therefore especially important to rest. So, why do we want to talk about it here? Because that is something that you feel physically right. Well, there are certain aspects of, gaming, uh, of gaming that can cause stress for players, both good and bad. So, that's what stress is. Let's get to it, to the first question. Could the player base's age and gaming experience be a reason for stress? What do you think, Abby? I think it's entirely possible, yes. Um, because of the player's age, you know, you find players are super, super invested in the game. Yeah. You know, they mm. literally put their whole hearts and souls into, you know, they give horses characters, they give them nicknames, you know, the people around them become their best friends. You know, it's a lovely experience, but there are certainly aspects where people can become stressed, like stress inducing. Um, you know, they, all, they can also be going through a lot in real life as well mm. uh, that can then like kind of 
force the interactions in Star Stable to be more stressful because they're experiencing things like school, you know, families, uh, situations outside of the computer, if you will, that just cause them to act, you know, more stressfully in the game and see these things as like, you know, because their hearts are in this game. So yes, yeah. it is definitely possible that, mm. you know, that their age and experience as well is a reason for stress. Mm. Mm. Well, yeah, totally agree with you there. Uh, Cece, what do you think? Yeah, um, I totally agree. And also with the, the age thing is, um, uh, kids and younger people have um, generally more free time to play uh, mm -hmm. where uh, older people and adults may not have you know, because they're busy with uh, uh, university or with their job uh, and like more responsibilities at home with cooking and uh, you know paying bills and all that boring adult stuff yeah, <laughs> the adult um, yeah so their play time with Star Stable might be way shorter so that may cause more stress because they have the same amount of content but way little time to play. Also with with the gaming experience aspect, it's if you don't if you're not really used to games then uh, some aspects of Star Stable might be hard to understand, you know, will be a bit overwhelming if you don't know what how you're gonna do something. Um, so that might be a part of that as well. Yeah, I, I I do agree with both of you. I believe so. Even though there are definitely cases where long-time gamers also have mm. issues with stress and a, which can in the end cause addiction to gaming. Yeah. Um. However, if you are new to gaming and you and are young, it might be easy mm. for your whole life, as Abby said, to center around one game. Uh, if you also are the kind of achievement player or want to stand out, you will want to do it absolutely perfectly or as fast as possible. Uh, this is something that can do that does not really happen to everyone, of course. Not not everyone can feel this sort of stress. Um, I might have felt a little when I was young, but now with age and experience, I just don't take everything as seriously or prioritize. I do I prioritize other things in life. A good thing to add here is that when you're young and do not have the experience, you might not always succeed. And this can also cause frustration, which can lead to more stress, which basically you've already said before. Um, so yeah, that's my point, I guess. Uh, what do you think, Siren? Uh, one thing I do want to add uh, uh, that I've noticed constantly in the community, I do um, frequently ask questions uh, whenever my channel hits um, like a milestone. Or on my Instagram, I should say. And one of the things that I always get is that how can I be more like you? How can I be like a big, bigger uh, Instagrammer or whichever mm. platform they may use? And I know personally that it can cause a lot of stress trying to be like this person or uh, that person. And that can definitely cause like a lot of stress because it's a lot of work being a content creator and it does yeah. cause a lot of stress just in general so i i try to tell people to like n not necessarily uh follow the bigger people's example but to be yourself because i think that's yeah. one of the most important things out there to do because mm. if you're not being yourself then what are you doing this for Oh, very true. That is very yes. true. Uh, what do you think, TC? I think there's different aspects to this, but like for example, um, the experience that I had of one previous game, um, where I used to be major thing of collection completionist, mm. I have to have all the things. Um, being introduced to Star Stable after having played um, that where I had kind of realized that actually that didn't make me happy. So whenever I played Star Stable, I was like, right, I'm going to buy the horses that I really want and doesn't matter about the rest. And I think possibly in some players it can be, I have to have everything. And yep. it's the fear of missing out, as it were. And I yes. think that sometimes possibly in the younger players, that fear of missing out um, not fitting in and stuff like that can cause stress. Um, so I yeah. think uh, the base age definitely has some kind of uh, thing with that. The game experience now is an interesting thing because I actually know some people who play like really 
quite significant like MMOs. And actually, Star Stable stresses them out because it's not enough like some of those MMOs. Oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm kind of like, eh, you know, I'm not really worried or bothered because I'll play a different game for yeah. something else. Um, Star Stable, I think, has different aspects of different things. Um, so I think in, in its own way, I think some people might go from playing Star Stable to playing something else and then be like, you know, there's differences here. There's things that I do in this mm. game that, you know, the way we get, like, the sort of the trickling of the main story quest, whereas there's a lot of other MMOs where there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of those quests today. Mm. You know? Um, I know this isn't really similar, but if you look at Skyrim, you can pretty much end, end up doing going to do one quest and doing 50 other million ones at the same time, which sometimes <laughs> yeah. does happen in the earlier parts of Star Stable, but you get that huge unloading and then suddenly nothing. So I think you can get stressed, because I went to replay the game at one point and I got really stressed um, replaying the game because I was like, I suddenly yeah. have so much to do and then nothing. Mm, so yeah. I think definitely the age, your gaming experience, whether it's a lot or, or very little, and it also comes down to, as you guys previously mentioned, just things that are going on in real life too. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> what would you say is the most common things uh, Star Stable Online players stress about? Abby? Each other. <laughs> the, oh. <laughs> like, the players. I have always found that, from what people have told me and from my own experiences, the most stressful, like, situations I've been in is with other people, you know? So-and-so mm. said this, so-and-so said that, you know, club, you didn't turn up, you know, club, you know, mm. in quotations, club hoppers. And it, it it is really a wonderful community, but I really feel like sometimes in the game, we can get so invested in, you know, the people around us and the global chat and being someone, if that makes sense. A bit like yeah. um, mm. Siren said, mm. uh, the... We, we get stressed out, you know, oh, so-and-so is talking behind my back. You know, it's kind yeah. of like school almost, you know, like the yeah. school drama happens. And that can definitely really stress players out. I think the older you get, the less you can kind of tolerate it. So you're just not really taking it on board anymore. Like, you know, they're just being, um, they're just being rude. We don't have to worry about that. But I think as, you know, we go younger and younger, um, the players really get invested in other people. You know, when they, for example, like their best friend in the game has been seen in another club or has moved servers or whatever, that can be really stressful to them because these are, you know, they're friends. Um, and it's really unfortunate uh, because, you know, the community can be so wonderful, but at the same time, when they get so invested, they can definitely take things the wrong way, you know, when their friends move to different servers. Um, one thing about the clubs is they can range from really l nicely casual to extremely militant in terms yeah. of like, you know, the dressage, <laughs> like let's say that, that kind of thing. Like it takes a lot of discipline to do, yeah. not just dressage in real life, but star stable dressage. I was always <laughs> oh, really gosh. impressed. You know, they, they like have their drills down. It's really impressive, yeah. mm, but that doesn't come from just hopping on and off the game like they're they're at eight o'clock you know they're there in uniform you know they come every single week and that yeah. can be stressful to a young person because if their mum is like okay you're not allowed to you're not allowed to play past 8 p.m now then they're stressed out because they can't be in that club anymore but all their friends are in that club and you know they're gonna get kicked out and then it's a stress 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 and yeah. it's really unfortunate because it can be such a positive thing but at the yeah, same yeah. time Outside kind of influences can mean that it can turn negative and it can become a little bit of a stress. Just a tiny one that's just popped into my head as TC was talking about collections. I don't know mm. if this is just me, but do you guys get stressed out if you have too many horses? No, I do not. No, no, I do not. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, what? no, I'm the same. I get stressed because on my main account, I've got like 80. I'm like, uh, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> I'm stressed <laughs> out about it. Like, I'm I don't pretty. want to sell them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. I'm just I'm just collecting them at that point. Um, I can't do anything with them. And it like stresses me out because some of them are like the limited edition ones. So I don't want to sell yeah. them. But I'm also feeling like I'm not engaging with them in the same way I used to. So that's just one mm. thing I've noticed. No, no, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good points there, good points there. What uh, what do you think, Sissy? Yeah, I really agree with that, um, that uh, us players, we kind of stress each other out. I really think that feeling like being um, 
that you're missing out on something that's really really frequent because it feels like as soon as a new horse pops up and then everyone wants to buy it everyone wants to ride it and train it and be seen with it so, kind of like a status thing like if you haven't if you don't have the latest thing then you're not cool or something on another note when it comes to the community um, I've seen and personally experienced that there's a lot of stress uh, about spoilers mm. uh, and things that will come to the game and that can really cause a lot of stress on one hand there's like stress over being spoiled uh, whenever you are on social media like for example if you just are on Instagram you're just scrolling through and then all of a sudden there's uh, a picture of something that Star Stable themselves haven't gone out with. Um, mm -hmm. For example, a new area, a character, a horse, something that's that's not what Star Stable has has shown without warning. Like here, bam, uh, spoiler. Like haha. <laughs> like mm -hmm. that that can be really stressful. Um, and also that can be stressful. Like recently, if there's a new area that has been opened, um, <laughs> that can be really stressful uh, because if you go on to either YouTube or Instagram and all the social media that day when it's been opened, then it's kind of like, oh, if you don't want to be spoiled, then you can't go in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so that can also be stress that uh, you need to step away. Um, and also like if there's a new area that is being opened that you need to log on as soon as you can and play through them so you don't get spoiled so for me that's really stressful I mean the recent update with uh, the second uh, part of Wildwoods I I endured waiting two days before I like no I, I need to play it I don't wanna like be spoiled anything <laughs> <laughs> So that was real stressful. Okay, yeah, yeah. I see. Um, and I, I totally agree with both of you that it's very, mm. very good reasons to be stressed. And I want to add to that that I have felt something that does stress players is having star coins to buy the latest horse that we mm -hmm. talked about or tack. Mm. And uh, time challenges uh, or mm -hmm. it's not really timed either. Well, I think we're getting more into it later but yeah that's mostly what i've been noticing that having star coins when is in a stop double star coin weekend weekend and why aren't mm. there more redeem coasts and just having so much star coins is, is a stress and to have it like now and not just mm -hmm. wait and gather and uh, buy mm. when you can it's like it has yeah. to be now because the horse is out now <laughs> yep. yeah so but we, we will get into that more uh later on so what, what do you think uh siren uh, so I'm gonna say something a little bit differently. Uh, spoiler pages. Ooh, because yeah. I've noticed when uh, someone takes files from the game that's not out yet, mm -hmm. like a horse, yeah. everyone mm -hmm. goes insane because it's not a fi it's not finished. No. Yeah. It, and everyone just loses their minds and mm. just unnecessary drama that's not needed. And like I tell everyone, yeah. Uh, this it's something that I learned in a school with animation. It's best if you wait until mm. you see it in the game yourself. Yeah. Because trailers and pictures can distort how the horse actually mm. looks in game. Yeah. 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 So I try to tell people wait until you see it in game, and then mm. make a decision. Don't necessarily rely on the spoiler pages and the spoiler accounts. Because there have been incidences where, like, a certain feature or something, or, like, this sort of horse or that sort of horse, anything, and we haven't gotten it yet. Mm. And everyone gets up in an uproar because it it's not being promised when Star Stable hasn't even announced it. Yeah. So I think yeah. that's definitely one of the things that definitely stresses the community out because you guys pretty much have covered everything that I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's, well, what we're all saying is pretty... It, it's valid. And uh, yeah. Uh, what do you think, TZ? I'm just kind of adding on to what uh, Siren said about uh, the spoilers because I've, I've seen this a couple of times where 
uh, let's say someone has has done has gone ahead and leaked these, and mm. they'll go, oh, those are the animations of the such and such on that. I've actually mm-hmm. noticed now some of them have literally said, I've put this horse on another horse, so it's yeah. going to move like that other horse, because yeah. even they've realized that whenever they're showing them off in some situations, mm. from what I can recall at least, mm. um, they're actually now having to to voice and say, this isn't the animations that the team's put on this. This is yeah, animations because like, I've stuck it on top of another horse. Yeah. Um, Please don't crap on the team yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I do see, I've, I've noticed a couple of times now, um, not even just actually in recent years, I can think of situations years ago before we ever had all these spoiler things where I have seen a horse in a trailer that Star Citizen was done mm. or in a picture that Star Citizen was done and I have gone, I don't like that at all. And, mm-hmm. Or one that I have liked and then I've gone in game and I've had the absolute opposite reaction. Mm. I remember very yeah. clearly the Lippens Honor. I didn't mm-hmm, like the Lippens yeah. Honors at all in the trailer. And I actually really, really liked it when I went into the game and I did get one. Um, so I think that's something. I think that people need to sort of realise that wait until you see it. And mm-hmm, if yeah, you really... Yeah. Do, and I think this is the, this kind of comes back to that as well because I think a lot of people do get really stressed out about this. Is And I've always said this, this has always been my stance. If something's added into a game, regardless of a star suit or something else, and you're not happy about it, don't spend your money on it. Yep. Mm. Don't buy the horse. Yeah. That is, you know, don't buy the item or whatever it is if you're not happy with it, because that is going to be reflected in the metrics. That's what, but really at the end of the day, that's what matters, um, regardless of the mm. game that you play. Mm-hmm. And I, the other thing in regards to the question as to what I think is probably the most common thing that stresses out players. What Siren said, and basically what Abby said, about clubs and drama and mm. all that sort of stuff that goes on, I think those are definitely the most common things that I think are stressing yeah. the community yep. out. Mm. Yeah. I, I agree with that. Um, yeah. And then moving on to should players feel stress about these things? What do you think, Abby? Honestly, I think if we're going to refer back to what stress is, and, mm. you know, as you said, um, you know, stress can be positive. Stress mm. is there for a reason. You know, it isn't this, mm. like, evil part of the human brain. Like, it's there because <laughs> it's meant to serve a purpose. Um, mm. And so we have to look at the situation that we are receiving stress from, and we're saying, is you know, the stress that I'm feeling going to benefit me in, in any way? Is it going yeah. to force me to do the things I need to do? Is it going to force me to reevaluate my conditions and get out of potential danger? Or mm. are we stressing over things we can't control? Are we stressing over things that really don't like actually affect us? Because mm. when we're kind of looking at the way players kind of interact, it sounds so callous and so cold, but yeah. the ignore button is there for a reason. I and, agree. And I feel like it's never utilized enough. Like it is perfectly okay to engage with the person who you, you know, are experiencing the stress from and say, listen, mm. like your behavior is inappropriate. It's not constructive, please stop. Mm. But like, I've noticed nine times out of 10, they won't. So mm. after you've engaged with them, you need to remove yeah. them, you know? Yeah. You need mm-hmm. to step away from them. You need mm. to put them on ignore. Even if it's like, in quotations, like the entire club that you're feeling that you're getting the stress from, sometimes mm. you need to be able to get up and just move away from the stress because it's not yeah. benefiting you. It's it's not doing anything good to you. It's completely understandable, of course. You know, stress happens whether we want it to or not. But then we have to take control of not the stress and, you know, stop ourselves from feeling it, but stop putting ourselves in that situation that makes us feel stressed out mm. and instead go, you know, let's say somebody really doesn't like the global chat on Unicorn Forest, for example. Mm. You, you know, you can't ignore everyone. So how about you move servers, you know, just take yourself away from the situation, even if it's for like a week, just to go Mm. and, you know, experience something else, even if you need to step away from the game for a little bit, um, Mm. that is better than sitting there feeling stressed about the things that you can't control because you can't control other people. Um, So should they be feeling stressed? No, but it is understandable that they do. Mm. Very, very wise. Yeah. I do agree. Yes. 
Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to add to that. That was that was really good. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> Evaluate what's stressing you. Um, if it's worth it to find a solution, or just move on and try other things. Yeah. Yeah. Because in the long run, as I said, as I explained, stress in the long run will hurt you. Yeah. And it's not worth it. Remember that. It's never worth it. Um, mm. Especially it's in the in the end, it's a game. Yeah. I, even though game. we love it to our hearts breaks, but it's mm -hmm. a game. Remember <laughs> that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I totally agree there. And uh, if I were to uh, talk about stress, where I talked about having star coins and uh, to have the latest stuff, of course, as you said, there are certain aspects that will require you to have star coins at that moment before you before it is gone. We have limited limited horses and tags. But mostly all things released is permanent. Mm -hmm. So I don't think players should be stressed about star coins. Like you you your rig wilds, they are out. Great. <laughs> look at the horses. They, do you have star coins right now? No. Well, look at them and wait and buy it when you can. <laughs> yep. Um and when it comes to challenges, if you can't finish the thing you want done as soon as possible. Give yourself time to train and learn before you start trying to get the best possible results to be that one in the front. Because it all takes practice and training. And I, I just feel like we need to give ourselves the time. We are stressing. Like, we are, t we are saying life is too short. Yes, but yeah. we also need that time to learn and to then handle the stress. Uh, just stressing because of stressing, that is when it's going to get hurt when it's gonna hurt your body and uh, so eventually you will get there when it comes to challenges and star coins it will happen just give it time like if you're feeling distressed take a deep breath and as abby and cc said evaluate is it really mm. worth it right now so yeah and uh, what do you think simon oh you guys pretty much covered everything <laughs> i was gonna say but but i will say this uh definitely uh reevaluate what is stressing you out um, it is okay to step away from the game and put the mm. phone down or put the computer down and pl this is something I tell players a lot is mm. that if you're upset with how the game is being run try other games because there's yeah. so many different games mm. out there and more than likely not there is going to be a game that suits that player more. It it's okay to put the phone down and step away uh, from what's stressing you out. I think mm. with Star Stable having weekly updates, which is a great thing, especially because mm. it's free. Um, mm. There is always, especially when you're a content creator, the rush to mm. get uh, the latest uh, horse or tack or game. And even myself, mm. I've, uh, over the years of doing this, have learned to like, alright, take a breath, you don't have to do this right away, take your time. If the video goes up late, then oh well. Mm. Just, just really taking your time and just mm. like learning to breathe through it. They say Rome wasn't built in a day. Well, I say Jorvik wasn't built in a day either. So no. it'll it'll be there. It's not going anywhere. So yeah, yeah. Also very wise words. I agree. I agree. Oh. Uh, and TC. Build on, on like whether players should feel stressed about the things. I think you do have to kind of reevaluate whether that stress is beneficial to you, as, as you have said. Um, and I think I've often had the response when I've told people, just ignore them. Oh, but you know, I don't want to hurt their feelings. And th this is one thing that I've told people before, but I want to echo it again: is when somebody disrespects you so much that you are thinking maybe I should ignore them, but I don't want to hurt their feelings. At this point, the answer is. They aren't respecting you, so why should you give them any time of day? Yeah. yeah. There's no respect there. And at the end of the day, if people are respectful to you, vice versa, there's no reason for any of this animosity. But if you are going to give them a, basically a channel, a way mm. to um, harass you or whatever like that, it's not healthy. It's really not. And um, like I, I think I mentioned before in a previous episode that I got harassed by someone for a year and a half. And I did ignore them on multiple platforms um, and I think the problem is a lot of younger players get really wrapped up in how oh, they've said this as, as Abby mentioned earlier and then it becomes this whole big 
thing. Uh, the thing with life is you just need to remember this, and I think you kind of get it as you get older. Not everybody that you meet in life is going to like you, and not everybody you meet in life that you, you're going to like either. And that's fine. Yeah. That's absolutely fine. Because all you have to say is, you know what, this isn't my kind of person or whatever, and move on with your day. And I think people need to remember that in the Star Civil community, because I am somebody that doesn't open the global chat. I very, very rarely ever speak or even open global chat because I think it's a toxic wasteland. Yeah, um, me too. Yeah. And I and I really can't be bothered with that at all. So I think players need to reevaluate whether they should feel stressed about something. I think obviously in the case of uh, where you're getting so much abuse and you've blocked them, you've done all the right things and you've reported them, and you're still having that, reach out and get help. Yeah. You know, go through the official channels to to report and reach out and get some assistance. I don't think that anyone should suffer in silence. Absolutely not. Um, no, no. You know, don't just ignore it <laughs> if it's that big of a problem. Where I would say that people need to probably reevaluate whether they're getting stressed about certain things is, I think one thing I've noticed about the community, and this is what I want to add on, players often, I think, get stressed by other people's opinions of horse releases and updates. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I just want to say this. It's absolutely fine to like or dislike something, and you do not need to feel like you have to defend your opinion or someone else's opinion or whatever like that, or be offended by someone else saying, I don't like this update. Like, for example, take the knob strippers. You know oh. how much I didn't like the knob strippers. How dare you! <laughs> <laughs> you know? And that's okay, because there's plenty of people that I know love them, and I'm like, that's cool, you enjoy them, you have fun with them, they're not my cup of tea. And I think players need to remember that, is there is absolutely no reason for you to feel like you have to defend your love yeah. or dislike of something. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, I do think constructive criticism is still very, very important. I'm not mm -hmm. denying that in any shape or form. But I think whenever people are like, oh, these players don't like this update or they're being negative about this thing. Well, actually, they might actually have a lot of really good critical feedback here. Like, what are the real causes of this? And I think people need to sometimes realize that. And sometimes whenever certain players are like, oh, I really like this and the majority doesn't, there might be a reason. That might be the one thing. Like, there's been plenty of updates. Like, I I'll think back to remember when we got the original uh, horse padding feature with the oh, hearts yeah. way, way, way back. Oh, yeah. I hated that. <laughs> so much. I was like, why? We love our horse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I like, you know what I, I think I said at the time was, I want to be able to click my horse and just immediately get on. I don't want this nonsense of patting the horse's head and there being hearts. I just want to click on my horse and get on my horse and go. Um, because I'm a different kind of player, whereas somebody who's doing yeah. RRP or whatever is going to love that. Mm. And that's fine. You know? Um, so, yeah. So I, I think uh, people need to reevaluate what is actually useful to them mm -hmm. and um i think i've it's, it's kind of had a lot we've had a lot of cycles of these kind of continuous things and i'm just hoping at some point that cycle breaks because it is mm -hmm. exhausting yeah good points good points oh my goodness we are gonna have so many good points <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> buckle up people we got more tips for you let's go to the next question um so, and yeah th this is coming from me something that racks my brain is how player asks for content or actually no let me rephrase that scream for content and when they get content they stress to finish it as fast as possible is there a need of being first in everything in sso or can we just enjoy the content <laughs> what do you think abby <laughs> absolutely not there is like you do not benefit in any sort of way by doing it first like you enjoy it less because you're mm. as you said stressed out about getting it done first you're probably mm. not reading what the quest is saying and mm. when you're finished you're just left feeling empty you just sit there like what have i just mm. done <laughs> mm. you don't get like... to actually enjoy you know the horses or the quests or anything like that and and then of course they sit there and they're like well, I want more quests, there's nothing to do, this game is boring. And it's like, well, if you took the time to go through it, you know, like take 
YouTube playthroughs, most mm. of the time they'll, you know, verbally read out what the character yes. is saying, you know, make comments on what's happening, then go and do the quests. You want that kind of pace to properly enjoy it, you know, like mm. make a story out of it, you know? I get people mm. who are like running through the quest to do just the XP because they don't really find the story that interesting or whatever, mm. but this like stress of like being first it's mm. just you you gain nothing there is no leaderboard for this <laughs> for the quests yeah. you know it's i i completely get that it can be so frustrating not just as other players but also as mm. like team members like star stable team members to put so much time into quests and people just like speed click through them um mm. And you end up just kind of not having anything to do. So certainly there is no need to be first. I get, as you guys mm. said previously, you know, you don't want spoilers. That, like, in my opinion, spoilers can be the worst when you don't want them. Um, yeah. But being the first, it's like, just go when you want to go. Go when you, you know, feel like you mm. want to do this quest. Um, but certainly, no, there is no reason at all for you to be first to do a quest. There is no rush. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you for easing my mind. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I totally agree. There's literally like no reason to be first because, you know, you don't get rewarded with anything for being first, you know? <laughs> um, Not really. You know, all other games, you might get an achievement, like in World of Warcraft, if you're first to defeat the new raid boss, you get an achievement, like, you get like... I was the first who mm. did this, and then everyone else mm. can see it. So it's like, haha, I'm the best. But no such thing in Star Stable. No. So I personally like super rushed with the soul riding and Farah's workshop. And now looking back at it, I don't really know why. <laughs> because and I really, I really regret it because it's like, why did I? do that <laughs> it's like i think we i have no about idea in episode. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> why though <laughs> yeah so it's like now in hindsight i really wished i wasn't that stressed about it for no reason mm. like i really mm. took my time with it because mm. i really i really enjoy those updates but i kind of ruin it for myself in that way mm. um so yeah um it's hard to say why you stress. Um, yeah, the fear of being spoiled is, is really like a big concern for mm. for me at least. Um, yeah, and especially with the main story quest. Oh mm. my god, like being spoiled. Oh, I was spoiled so main story quest, and it's just oh that oh. hurts so much. That that's like a blow to the face almost. It's like mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Especially when you, you wait so long for them and then they're there yeah. and then if you don't like play the first day when it's released then it's like it's such a high risk. <laughs> like you, you you're treading like social media like a minefield like oh mm. is someone's gonna talk about this. So yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, I agree with both of you. There there will always be other people coming in later that will never be first. Anyways, um, as you said, there is no real leaderboard. And to be first is extremely hard. And something I believe you really should not strive to be. Like, because, yeah, it's just that I can understand the stress. Because, I mean, sure, you could be the first on your server, maybe. Mm -hmm. But you imagine if anyone knew that they were the first in the world to do that quest, for example. Then there, we would have a leaderboard. But we don't have it, mm -hmm. so... Why? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it like sure if it happens then awesome. Kudos for you that you're first. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? <laughs> uh, but as we've said, the goal is to have fun and to enjoy it while you have it. Especially if you are an end game player like us, yeah, who will reach a point where you will have to wait again. Enjoy yeah, the moment. Yeah. It's like it's like you've been waiting for that chocolate that you 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 told yourself you're not getting a chocolate for weeks, <laughs> and then you get that piece of chocolate. You're not gonna just throw it in your mouth and swallow it. No, no, you're gonna have it in your mouth. You're gonna chew on it. You're gonna taste it. And then reluctantly swallow it. That's what we want. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Siren? Well, yeah, especially when you're a content creator. 
Mm. Uh, there is a demand to be first in everything, but yeah. the mm. way I've found um, to do this is to like just sit back and take in as much of the quest or whatever you're doing as long as you can. If I have to go run and do something fine when I'm recording, then that's not a big deal. I mean, I have cats. My cat Hershey will come and interrupt me and just like stare at the screen for like five <laughs> minutes. And I'm like, have to stop recording. And I'm like, all right, stare at the screen, watch the horses. It's <laughs> cute. Um, it really just taking your time with the uh, any game content because I, I used to be like this where I had to rush through stuff like when my channel was for like first getting started and just like rushing through everything and then I was burning myself out and I said all right there has got to be a better way to do this mm. um so uh, over time I've learned just to like take my time with everything mm. and it, if I'm not first then it's not that big of a uh, deal mm. um because the, normally someone will beat us to it, and it's yeah. normally hackers, or someone figures out, like, a little glitch in the game to, like, speed themselves up. Yeah. Um, so, th that's <laughs> also an issue that would cause stress, because uh, then people are like, well, how did you get it so fast? They broke the rules. <laughs> the bro you broke the rules, but all yeah. right, if you want to be first, that's on you. Mm. Very true, very true. Yep. Mm -hmm. And what do you think, Titi? Um, I think, like, for me, um, from a content creator perspective, you do want to be first, um, <laughs> usually. But, obviously, as Abby mentioned, you want to go through and you want to read what you're, you know, you read out the dialogue, mm -hmm. ingest it, make comments about it, because otherwise, what's the point, you know? Yeah. Nobody's going to sit there and just watch you go click, 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 you know, the whole way through without actually <laughs> looking on it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And I suppose for some people, it's the thrill of being the first one running around with the pet or whatever. Um, mm. Like if you take the spiders, for example, I find that super fun looking for the mm -hmm. spiders. Yes. Because it was a yes. challenge and it was really engaging and I, I really mm. enjoyed that. But then like with the story quests, I do want to get you know my content out on the day, for example, um, that uh, it comes out. But I am not as like, it's not like... I'm thinking, oh, I need to get this out so I have the item. It's more that I want to experience the content before it gets spoiled for me on social mm -hmm. media. Because, as, as Cece said, it's a minefield. Like, you literally, yeah. nowadays, you cannot do anything without having something spoiled. I mean, for a while, the spoilers were really starting to stress me out. And making mm -hmm. me very agitated. Because I was like, there's nothing... I cannot have a genuine reaction to anything anymore. Like, a first look genuine reaction. Because when I look back to some of my old videos, when we had no idea what the update was going to be, none, yep. the yeah. sense of excitement that you had was unprecedented. Mm -hmm. um, like, there's actually some videos that I look back now and I cringe at because I am so excited. Aww. I know that's really silly, but I look back and I'm like, oh my god, calm yeah. down, it's not that <laughs> big a deal. But um, that was a sense of wonder and awe because you didn't know what you were going to get. And um, yeah. that's kind of gone now. It's like, oh, we're going to get this and we're going to get that. And it's like, you know, you don't really have that same experience anymore. And I think it does take away from it, unfortunately. Um, and then there's been times where I'm like, right, well, the spoilers exist, you know, and I, I kind of had accepted it a bit. But still, there's still the odd time where it starts to frustrate me a little bit. But I think a lot of players, you know, almost it's the relief of, of completing. I know for me, actually, it's actually the... When I see a new faction and I have them admired, I'm like, yes, <laughs> that is completed. That is a box ticked. Mm. I That's for me. It's it's that mm. I can put a stamp on that. I've done that. Mm. That's what I like um, for me. Uh, it's more being able to tick that box is done. Um, mm. But I'm, I don't, I don't spam click through stuff. Mm. You know, it's different if I'm going back to do dailies and I don't want to read the dailies because I already know what the dailies are. But uh, mm. the Rune Runner uh, that we discussed in depth in the last the last time we did the mm -hmm. podcast on that that mm -hmm. is a perfect example of a time where I took my time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there was no benefit mm. to me getting that horse mm. first. And then when I did get it, unfortunately, I left it so late that at the bit of the time, as I said, I got it. I kind of didn't care anymore, which is kind of sad. <laughs> so yeah. I think there has to be a bit of a balance. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
you know? Because there's just so many new exciting horses that have come out since. Yeah, that is true. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So there has to be a little bit of balance, I think, yeah. Yeah. Huh. And also, I was thinking because you, you, some, you, I remember when I started being that that I had every Wednesday, every Wednesday I had, to, I even told my parents I can't do sh anything. <laughs> 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 Censored myself there. Yep, uh, I can't do anything today because it's Wednesday. I need to log in. I need to do. I need to record. I need to do everything because I need to get the thing out first. Mm -hmm. But as I've been doing this now for a few years, you know what? It's actually okay not to be first with a Wednesday update. First, because we talked about it. Spoilers. You know, actually give your viewers some time to experience it yourself. And why they're going to you is because they want to watch you because they want to know what you think mm -hmm. of yeah. the update. Yeah. They don't want to see you be first. Yeah. They want to yeah. see what you think. So, like, for example, my reviews. Like, I tried to get... I Of course, I'm going to try to get them on, on Wednesdays, but I don't always have time. Stuff happens. And sometimes, like previously, it went out on a Saturday. Well, my, my views were still just the same as before. Because mm -hmm. they want to know what I think of the pony. Not mm -hmm. what I want to... Not what I was thinking that day. Mm -hmm. Um. So... I feel like we need to stop stressing about being first with content as well. Because <laughs> yeah. it's all about really you. That is what's important when being a YouTuber and why you have followers. In a way. In the end, yeah. anyway, they're going to be following because it's you. Mm -hmm. and not because you're just first all the time. Okay, moving on to the next question. Um, temporary events and limited edition things can, of course, cause stress in all games. I think so as well. <laughs> Would you say this is an issue in S Star Stable Online, Abby? Honestly, uh, issue? No, because I wouldn't say like, oh, that's a negative side of Star Stable that is like mm. causing people stress. Because honestly, temporary events are really cool in my opinion because mm. you get like you know some cool quests that you don't normally get. You get probably like a cool outfit as well, um, and I quite find them enjoyable. You know, it's. I understand where the stress does come from of like, oh, I gotta be a part of this thing and get the new item. But at the same time, we always, always, always have a minimum of a week to experience it, to do the things that we want to do. Um, you know, cause it's always Wednesday to Wednesday. We're not gonna get an update on Wednesday and have it removed on Saturday. Like that doesn't happen. Mm. Um, so yes, they're temporary. So that does kind of up the stress. But this is one thing that I really think shouldn't stress people because a week mm -hmm. is a long time. I'm sure you can find an hour to play, you know, in a week. Mm -hmm. um, and I personally enjoy those events the most, you know, especially like, say, the Valentine's races or the Midsummer. I love the Midsummer. Like, just, just the little parties we have. And they're so much fun. Why would you want yeah. to, like, stress about them and just take away that joy when you could just really enjoy it whenever you can get on? But I understand why they stress. Is it an issue? I don't think so, personally. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Cecil? Yeah, um, I agree. But it kind of feels like most like time limited events um, are kind of like around the holidays, and usually mm -hmm. most holidays are at least like two weeks. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, as I said, that's that is a good amount of time to to have that you mm -hmm. can do can do it on that time um, me personally I uh, the recent holidays with the Halloween and the winter holidays uh, I felt like I was really stressed like the first week I was like, ah, I'm not sure how how much time I need to spend to get these uh, seasonal sets and things but then I I always um, uh, uh, it just it didn't take that much time at all to get it. So mm. I I kind of spent like the first weeks like stressing about it, but then the rest of the duration of the holiday was like, oh wow, <laughs> I'm I'm already finished with it. <laughs> so like there was no need to stress. 
Maybe that's also, I don't know if it's just me, I'm, I'm really bad with time, so maybe I unnecessarily stress myself out, because I'm really bad at reading time yeah. and how much time something is gonna take, so yeah. Yeah, well, um, I do agree, and but I have, I, to be honest, I haven't thought about it until mm. I met players who asks after an update if it's permanent or not. Uh, yeah. And that is with any update, like, I, and that's why I'm starting to believe that when players will frequently, when they frequently ask that it, sh that it shows the star stable, maybe have had too many limited edition things, so that players mm. are no longer sure of what is what. Um, mm. But maybe soon it will become so frequent that, uh, and and it's like a, they will start noticing some of the themes that they will slowly learn and understand what is limited or not. And in a way, I understand why, like, for example, the Yorick Wild Horse, why that could maybe have been seen as one of the magical horses that has a tendency to stay for two weeks. Mm, they thought true. they were not permanent. And uh, we were have to tell them, like, they are permanent. They're staying forever. Uh, <laughs> and we have the limited races. So we have a new race. And we have all the questions like, okay, how long is this race staying? And so that's why I think there is, like, this of maybe not knowing what is limited and not limited mm. anymore um, and maybe Star Stable could get a little better on communicating what is better what is limited and not um, mm. so, yeah. so just to calm it down a little uh, what do you think Siren? Uh, so yeah I really don't stress out over time events because normally I always have time to do them but other players will and will come to me and like, how long does this take? How long does that take? And I'm like, and I'm like, mm. barely finished. Like, oh, I don't know. I'm like halfway <laughs> through. Let me finish, and I will post it and scream, yeah. scream it to the world. I I really don't think there is that much stress, but ch it's more a uh, stress of back to our topic of being like first to get it, because mm. I remember the penguin when that came out with the winter update. There was this glitch, I don't remember how it went, um, but people were able to get it the day of the actual oh. update. Oh wow. So I was like, wait a second, that, and that, and you need that many wishes, and yeah, you have that, then that doesn't add up. Mm. Uh. Cause that's how I first found out about it. I was like, saw mm. a player coming in with the penguin and I was like, wait a second. Like mm -hmm. that, that. That 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 mm -hmm. that's not Makes right. No sense. <laughs> uh, and I look, and then I looked on social media, and there was a glitch, and I'm like, oh, of course, someone figured it out. Yeah. But um, I really don't think there is like that much stress over a time update. I mean, if it's like a week, I can kind of see where it's like, oh my gosh, crunch time. But nor what I've noticed from events recently, they're like over two weeks now. And that's yeah. more than enough time to like get on mm. for an hour or two and complete mm. it. Yeah. So I, I don't really think that it's that much stressful. Mm. Okay. Mm. And TC? Um, I think it can depend if it's like more so limited horses. I do yeah. notice that some players get really, really stressed because somebody's payday might fall on the wrong day for yeah. uh, the two weeks that the horses are there. So players can get quite stressed out by that. And then players who have only started recently see a horse that they're like, oh my God, where did you get that? Where is it? And you're like, it's a limited horse. It's not here anymore. That stresses some people out. Now, where I would actually say I have a little bit of a different experience of the limited events, and I actually do think that can be very stressful for players is because one of my club only rec recently started playing the game last year. Mm. and they're extremely frustrated because a lot of the time limited events that we've had in the past gave XP oh. and they'll oh, never get that yeah. XP yeah. yeah, and that is a real real problem for them like they don't like that aspect at all it's really frustrating for them and they want to see something done about it because mm. if you then want to be a racer and focus on championships and race sports and stuff like that you're mm. always going to be at a competitive disadvantage because you can't be level 23 or level 24 you'll oh, never get right. there um oh. anytime soon so that is something that i think definitely needs addressed in the future mm. okay um interesting uh, okay uh, moving on 
Could the price in the end of grinding quest cause stress? We have already actually mentioned the rune runner in soul riding. What do you think, Abby? Um, I think yes, it can cause stress, but honestly, I don't think it should. Unless mm. it comes down to the me first mentality, which is something, yeah. as you guys said, that happened with the Rune Runner of, you know, I want to be the first person seen riding it because it's mm. like a status thing, you know, oh, look at me, I've mm. done the quests. Unlike, uh, as TC said, the temporary events um, and the temporary horses as well, the grinding quests aren't going anywhere. They're not, no. you know, they're always going to be available to you and, you know, things like the Rune Runner aren't part of like the main story quests so you don't need to do them to progress so they're completely there for your leisure they're completely there to give you something to do you know to have fun with so for them to then cause stress it's not the grinding that's causing players stress it's the me first mentality or the mentality of well if i do this every single day then i'll have it first and you know because you can't get on the pc or you're busy that day then you've fallen behind compared to everybody who can get on every day but that's not down to grinding i think that does a little bit play into what we were saying about rushing through quests you know and not enjoying them you know if you're yeah. grinding every day and it's like oh gotta get up six o'clock in the morning you know get my rune runner quest yep. done it's like that doesn't need to be how you play the game <laughs> you can no. you can get on any time and do it for fun that's completely fine mm. um so it can yes but i genuinely don't think it should i agree yeah wise words yeah. uh cc yeah i'm not really sure why it's so stressful with this grinding quests and content because they are supposed to be the opposite is supposed to be mm -hmm. something that you can just poke around with you know just now and then um, mm -hmm. and take your time with because you know the grind is you know for a very long period of time so yeah I'm not sure if it's somewhat with um, uh, if it's because there's a huge amount of uh, end game players that feel like they have nothing else to do. So when they feel like, oh, here's some content, like I can do it, then they just be like, they're so over excited to have something to do um, that they just go crazy about it um, and just really devote themselves to that one thing. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what more to add. <laughs> okay, okay, no, no, I totally agree. And uh, I agree with both of you that I think the first, uh, first player mm. mentality is the cold part here. Uh, being mm. the first to have the horse, to have the pet. Yeah. And as you said, in the end, yay for you, <laughs> uh, I guess. And in a way, you don't want to. Just because we have these people that have the third party tools, they're gonna be mm. hacking and making themselves have this prize. So to be honest, we did have some issues with players reporting other players having a horse that was actually legit. But we had to investigate, was it legit or not? So in a way, you don't want to be the first. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that it's not. I'm not gonna say like that. It, it's gonna be anything bad. It's not gonna, like we do thorough <laughs> investigations before we do anything to your account. Just just to make sure of that. But just as an example of why maybe being first is not the best thing all the time. <laughs> I I wonder this thing about. Uh... I'm first, like on comments on like Instagram and YouTube. What is that about? I don't yeah. understand. What's the point? I, yeah, Does no. anybody I care? Don't I don't get no. it. I'm like, well, hi you. <laughs> then yes, like, I'm uh, okay, okay, you're uh, first with the comment. Why? What? I, I don't know. I don't know why. It, it's a pain. Yeah, I never I, understood I don't, it either. What? Yeah. I guess it's that culprit again. Maybe we need another episode of just discussing first mentality. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need to investigate <laughs> this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, I have no basically nothing more else to add. But uh, yeah, so what do you think, Siren? Uh, I definitely think it can cause stress, especially when, uh, especially younger players who will see like mm. uh, another player who has it first and. Them just being young, they might want to like fit in and just like have it as well. Especially um, for social media. If someone's on social media and trying to get followers, 
I have noticed that they'll be like, oh, I was first to do this, and they have all this following, and then eventually it, it just, like, backfires, and eventually, like, they go away. So, I think it's also just kind of like a race to be uh, noticed in Star Stable, in the community. But, I mean, for me personally, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, to be first, it is when it comes to creating content, but I make sure, again, like I've said uh, previously, just to enjoy it. Nice. I think it depends on the particular thing. As I mentioned earlier with Rune Runner, you know, and I've, I've spoken about it a lot in the last podcast, so I'm not really, I'm not going to go into detail, but it stressed me out at one point, and then I just decided to stop, and then I went back to it when I felt like it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, I, I think it is probably just that to be first mentality in some situations. Like, sometimes whenever a new thing things come, comes out, like, uh, when, like, Dundalk came out, or whenever Red Room Point came out, I will make an effort to do my rep every single day because I don't want to be in a situation where a new update comes out and I'm like a hundred rep off having the reputation needed to go to the next part of the quest. Because that I do find stressful. But um, other than that, no. Okay. Nice. Uh, We touched base on this before, but I'm glad to touch it again. Clubs are a big part of Star Stable Online, but at some point it can almost be, be a, a little crazy. Uh, as Abby said, what did you say? Militant? Yeah, militant. Yeah, that was it. Militant. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you think they can cause stress for players? Which you have already said it does, yeah. but if so, how? Um, let's go, Abby. Yeah, so unfortunately, with any sort of human interaction, you're going to (laughs) get stress. Whether or not you have something like social anxiety, like you're just going to get stressed because people TM. But with clubs especially, we do have a pre kind of disposition of, you know, club owner, club leader, champion, you know, experience, blah, blah, blah. You've got this hierarchy going. And even in, you know, the really positive, the really upbeat, the really like you know well designed and well run clubs you will get stress um when you first join it's the stress of like ah all these new people that know each other but they don't know me and i have the rank of stable girl and ah you know um the dressage clubs having you know the rigid uh you know turn up schedules and then they have their subgroups of like which team are you in are you an elite team are you in an intermediate team um there's a lot you need to know uh then on top of that some clubs do have the problem of you know the players get stressed out because they have to have horses so uh i keep referencing the dressage community i'm sorry i'm obsessed but um recently (laughs) a lot of them had to upgrade to the new frisian because you know the frisians were the staple of the club you know the dressage club Mm -hmm. love them um what then happened was all of these players who had the correct horse now did not. So they had to buy the newest, most expensive horse to still be in the club. That can cause stress, you know, if they've just, you know, bought something else for themselves. They might not even like that horse and yet they've got to buy it. That's gonna cause stress. So yes, but I think at the same time when looking at clubs, you can't like label them as like bad because the basis of clubs is beautiful. I love it so much. And to bring people together like that is wonderful. However, like there is not gonna be ever a club that is quote unquote drama free because people. (laughs) you know people cause drama people cause issues whether on purpose or not is irrelevant but yes (laughs) clubs are a huge stress (laughs) uh yeah Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. very good points uh what do you think cc yeah um that can be really stressful um both good and bad stress what i've experienced like there's so many different kinds of club but the active ones some can be like super duper crazy like I've seen in global like clubs that have events like every single day and if you miss one day you're out and that's ridiculous because like hello <laughs> life um, <laughs> so yeah um I mean you should join a club because you like the people in it and you have fun with it but if it's like you have this expectation of 
how active you should be and, and you have to be there or else you get kicked out. That's that's mm. no fun at all, it's just stress. And yeah, and also like Ebbe mentioned, with um, when you're new to a club, that can be really mm. stressed to be like the new one. Then you have to yeah. get to know a lot of new people. Uh, sometimes you already have like clicks within a group. Uh, mm, within a club, mm. so it can be really hard to really feel at home, yeah. <laughs> and that can be stressful as well. To find the right club for you, it can also be mm. like a journey, and just to know when, uh, and also let yourself like be like, no, this is not for me. Let's, I, mm. I need to try something else, and and that's okay. Mm. Um, mm. Just because you have been in a club for a very long time doesn't mean that you have to forever. So yeah, I think clubs can be really stressful if you don't, you know, take the time to feel um, if it's really worth it in the end. Also, it takes a lot of time and effort into uh, managing a club. It can be really stressful, mm. especially mm. if um, you are just one person or like three that keeps the club mm. together. I have experienced that it's... Uh, it's less stressful if more of the club members are active in the club, not just mm. like one or three people. Because they are gonna get burned out because they are doing all the hard work. But mm -hmm. if more people come together and, um, you know, being a part of the club keeps the club going, mm. then it's less stress. So that can be yeah. something to think about as well. That is that is very true. Both, both mm. you and me have been in a club where that has happened. Yeah. That yeah. In the end, the owners have been yeah burned out. Like, like the members are feeling, they are relying on the owners to keep the club going, yeah, and they're like, "Well, you really do fair. such good events, so why should we do?" And in yeah, the end, you the know, owner yeah. is gonna be burned out, yeah. um, and wanna end the club. So it's it's a team effort to have a club. Yeah, believe it or you need not, commitment. Like, you need yeah, some, you need to bring something yourself to the to the table mm. as well. Yeah. Yeah, I completely agree. And uh, also, mm. the clubs that are the more... It is the well-known clubs that are the most visible. The ones that have, mm. like Abby said, the dressage clubs are very visible and show how yeah. they work and how and it's, uh, it's something to live up to. Or we have those other clubs that has the uh, event, that has such active players, that has so many events and everything. And you want to reach mm. that same level. It actually not my... It actually might not be the best for you, and yeah. there are the other clubs that are less active. Uh, they have like events once a month maybe, and then they're just logging in and hanging out together, and that might be the ones for you. They are not the most visible one, but they are out there. And uh, so when you have a club or want to join a club, what do you want? Like we've talked about good stress. Maybe those well-known clubs are gonna give you the good stress, but. Keep in mind and listen to yourself. When is the good stress going over to bad stress? Mm. Very important. And don't let the community or your club or anything say that. Like, listen to yourself and tell. In, I know it's tough to, to tell yourself, like, you know what? This is not good to me. Move on. But in the end, we have to get better. All of us to tell to say no. Yeah. Mm. I have even to be able to get better to say no when I'm almost 30. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a learning curve yeah. that we all have to get. Um, but yeah, wh what do you think, Siren? So, yeah, uh, there's kind of a reason uh, that personally I don't do clubs. The best way to put it is I don't like crowds. I'm very much in a, a mindset where of the old PC games where it's just yourself. And that's what I'm very much used to, is just myself, mm. and just having the game and being immersed in the game. That's what I like yeah. personally. And I've tried to be in other clubs, and it just got too demanding. And I just mm. said, you know what, this is way too much stress on me, especially now, mm. being a content creator. Mm. Pretty much the only two times that I'm on Star Stable is to either enjoy the game... Mm. Uh, and to work on something, or I'm filming or doing photos for my channel yeah. or my Instagram. Otherwise, with everything else that I have going going on in my life outside of the game, I really can't be on for anything else. 
with uh, everything that goes on in clubs. Like, I, I, I don't like to be, like, around, like, too many people. It gets, like, like ah, uh, I can't do it. Mm. Mm. We definitely, as a community, uh, for all the, like, the club members, do need to work as a team. Uh, mm. Because I have been in clubs where it's just, like, this person doing something or that person doing something. And not everyone's, like, involved. Starts, like, unnecessary drama or, for me at least, that I kind of prefer just to be by myself. And I do like that environment, don't get me wrong, I love when fans come up to me and saying, oh my gosh, I love your content, and stuff like that. That I do appreciate, incredibly grateful for, but just in a club setting, I'm more comfortable by myself. Hmm. And it's totally okay. <laughs> yes. What do you think, DC? Um, I agree with pretty much what you've said already. Um, for me personally, like, I made my club because being clubless and being invited to other people's clubs, I didn't mm. want to be in a club. Mm. So that was originally why I made my club. <laughs> and then people were like, can I join? And I'm like, I don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess clubs can be really crazy and you can have a very drama free environment and have a very like, I suppose some advice I'd actually give for anybody that like is maybe making a club or anything like that um is if you have rules for your club or you build on rules for your club make sure those rules are there for a reason to start off with something that's reasonable um but also just actually enforce them as well um because otherwise then people don't respect them um but at the same time, I, I think it can... I don't want to see a club go to the other extreme, as, as Abby mentioned, where it becomes very militant because mm. that's too much, in my personal opinion. Like, I know for, like, the dressage clubs, like, I I am in awe of that, but I don't think I'd want to do it. <laughs> so, so, are. so um, yeah, I think club drama and things like that, I think... Look around, actually find out what kind of club really is going to suit you as a person because in some cases you might actually find, you know what, you want to be clubless or you just want to make your own club and be on your own. And that's okay because I did that at the start and I was quite content to be like that. It was just that I had a couple of friends from Horse that joined, the, you know, started playing Star Sable as well with me. And that was originally my club was four people. It was just us. We already knew each other. And we were quite happy and comfortable that way. Um, so I don't think people should be in a club that's going to, over time, make them unhappy. And I think the other thing as well is no one should feel fearful of leaving cl a club. I get very agitated when I see people treat players like they're their property. Yeah. Should any oh, people yeah. decide oh, yeah. to leave my club, that is their free will. They are free to do so. Yeah. And I would never turn around and be like, how dare you leave? they're not your property they're yeah. not like should they club hop from from dawn to dusk that is their prerogative to yeah. do you just don't re-add them if that's the case if you don't want somebody's gonna be in and out and in and out of your club but at the same time just don't get into that mindset of oh my god you're in my club and you, then you decided to leave you know how dare you that's that's yeah, not oh good for you and it's not healthy so yeah that is very interesting and it feels like there there is work to be done when it comes to mentality within clubs yeah. in a way yeah and maybe we could revisit that we have talked about clubs before but maybe we could focus more on those kinds of stuff next time we revisit clubs yeah. moving on we have questions people still yes <laughs> we are not done <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any tips to the players who feel stressed about something in-game, Abby? So, not to sound dismissive or inconsiderate, but if you're stressed out by... I know this keeps coming up, but players? The ignore button is there. As TC rightfully said, you know, people are a little bit cautious about using the ignore button. Not only because they're like, oh, I don't want to hurt their feelings, you know, but also there is, I think, some 
part of them that is like, well, I kind of want to see what they say, you know? They're like, yeah. oh, what are they saying, you know? Uh, how can I kind of get in on that? And we have to really stop that mentality because the more you feed into these people, the more they're gonna do it. So you see it, you engage with it, you say, hey, please stop doing this, and they don't, then you ignore them. There is no if, buts, or what. And if their behavior is dangerous, or, you know, is breaking the game, then you report them to, you know, Star Stable, then you go to support. Um, mm -hmm. If it's something like, you know, grinding, uh, temporary quests, temporary horses, then there is a healthy amount and there is completely an understandable amount as well where you are like, I really want this thing and I kind of want it right now. But then you have to be careful of when is this affecting my mental health and do mm. I need to step away from this? Um, because yeah. yes, even if this horse is there once and never ever comes back, which to be fair, I haven't seen yet where uh, mm. a limited time horse comes and goes forever like they usually come back maybe in the next year but you have to really be considerate of what your situation is can i afford this right now mm. can i afford the time i'm putting into this right now and if it's if the answer is no then you need to disconnect from it a little bit and just go you know in five years am i going to care about this thing is this thing going to be detrimental to my life or is the stress mm. I'm causing myself actually the thing that's damaging me? So you really, mm. really need to be careful of what you're allowing yourself to be in situations where you're stressed. And just re please remove the toxic people. They don't need to be there. Just take take them out. No. You, don't, you don't need them. <laughs> no, 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 no. There is enough drama in life in general. You, you exactly. can actually ignore this, this drama. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any tips, Cece? Put them on the ignore list, like time out. <laughs> um, mm. It's perfectly fine, you know. You don't have to constantly feel like you have to, like it's not okay to say no or be like, I don't like this. Like, mm. I don't want to be with you. It, it's fine. It's fine to say like, no, you're hurting me. You're stressing me out. I don't want to engage with you. It's fine. Mm. You don't have to be like, I have to endure this because no. You are allowed to take care of yourself. And that can be putting someone on the ignore or block someone from social media. That's fine. If someone is behaving really rudely and being really toxic and it's really affecting you, then it's fine to be like, no, this is not okay because it's it's not okay. <laughs> so <laughs> it's perfectly fine. And yeah, also to remember that Star Trek Online, it's, it's a game. It's, it's just a part of your life. Um, Mostly it's for, you know, as a hobby, for relaxation, and if it's causing you stress, then it's not really doing the job <laughs> for you. No. So yeah, really take a moment and just think about why it's stressing you, um, mm. and if you can fix it somehow. Or, you know, it's, it's always gonna be there, and you know, your account is always gonna be there. It's not mm. going to be like deleted if you don't play for a year or something like that. Yeah. It's not. Mm. It's always going to be there as long as you you have your info. That And also that info you will not share with anyone else. <laughs> no, keep that info to yourself. <laughs> yeah, <please. it's, laughs> keep reminding people. So yeah, it's just take a break if you need it. I mean, it's okay to do that as well. And also like try something else. I mean, if... If racing is stressing you out, take a break from it and just go around and, uh, you know, look at the flowers or something. Um, go and smell flowers. <laughs> yeah. Go and look oh, at the sky. <laughs> yeah. Well, know. it's good. It is yeah, good tips. Know, it's just, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Just take a look and... Um, it's just, oh, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Stop racing. Go and look at the flowers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, you just try something new, just to get a new perspective on things, to really, like, what's what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I completely agree. Just sit back and mm -hmm. re and, and think, is it good stress or is it bad stress? Yeah, yeah. As I said before, being first is not the goal. Enjoy, have fun with what you have when you have it. If you stress through things you might... You might miss the awesome details. Just yeah. saying. Mm -hmm. If you miss, if you're stressing through quest or anything, if you're stressing to get that horse, is that horse really 
Are you are you gonna feel the same love for that horse if you buy it the same day as it came out, or is it gonna be, might be even better once you've actually saved the star coins to get it after five weeks? I'm not sure. Oh. Um, do you have to have all the horses? No, you don't. <laughs> hey, or it's okay if you want to. You don't have to get them now. You can do your collection in your own time. Uh, so just take a breather, please. It, and as we said, it is a game. There's going to yeah. be a lot of stuff in your life that you will want to buy. Believe you me, I have a lot of stuff I want to buy right now. But I'm getting an yeah. apartment, so that ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's oh. expensive. Yeah, it's very expensive. So, But then again, I do want to stuff... I do want to buy the stuff for the apartment as well, but oh well. Uh, so it's, it's, it's going to be a lot of things you want to buy, but you're not going to get them. There might be then better stuff coming that you want to buy that you can buy then. Mm -hmm. Just some tips. Yes. Is it really worth it? It's a game. What tips do you have, Siren? Oh, uh, so the best thing, well, some tips I do have. One of the things is uh, when drama does happen in the community, like a horse getting spoiled, um, this mm. person um, uh, saying things that are hurtful to the community, whatever the reason may be, it is okay mm. to put the phone down or to like step away for a bit. Meditation is great. I can tell you that. I, <laughs> personal um, meditator here. Uh, if that's Ooh. the right word here. Um, mm -hmm. That's one tool I use. Another thing that I would say is, with me being a content creator, I have, I technically do have to be first with pretty much 99% of stuff. Just because I'm doing it doesn't mean you have to follow. Mm. You can take your time and just enjoy the game itself. And another point I do want to like make note to the community uh, is that gaming is a luxury, mm, and yeah. it, it's a lot of time, it's a lot of money. Mm. So if you're going to use spend your money, use it wisely, mm, and let's. And if there's a game, even even Star Stable that you're you're just not like that invested anymore, try something else yeah. because. It does give you a whole new perspective, and who knows, maybe you do go back to Star Stable. Which mm. is great, great, or any other game that you play out there. But it is a luxury, and there are more important things than just a game. Yeah. Very good. TC, do you have some? I agree with uh, what Siren says. Gaming is a luxury, and um, as much as I think, especially with uh, some younger players, you can be like, oh, it's not fair. Um, you know, because they can't buy all of the horses. You know, I know that people often really like watching videos where someone buys all of the horses or they open all of the loot boxes or whatever. And yes, but that it is one thing. It is not sustainable. No. It is not sustainable for most people. No. Um, most of us are not Jeff Bezos. <laughs> you know? no. um, so in, in my mind, I think players need to focus really on what is really, really, the really important stuff to them, okay? Yeah. And what genuinely makes them happy. In some cases that is, some people love to collect everything and as somebody that used to collect everything in another game, I get it. But I had a moment where I kind of realized um, I wasn't liking the way that particular game was going and the direction it was going. And I realized that long term, it was completely unsustainable for me to continue with that kind of behavior. Mm. The buying every new, you know, DLC or whatever that comes out, it's just not. Um, which really then, whenever I came to Star Stable, has, I think, helped a lot because I'd had that experience in another game and I thought, right, okay, in this I'm gonna be quite particular. Um, so I think that would be a tip that I, I have is, I know that there is that mentality, oh, I'll just go and buy Star Coins, I'll just go and buy this. One of the most horrifying things I think you can do is actually go and see how much you've spent Yes. Oh. Over oh, the yeah. entire time that you've played. Yeah. Um, but I do think people should do it because I think <gasps> it gives you a bit of perspective. Yeah. Mm. And I think sometimes you can go, you know what, that's okay, or it is too much. Mm. And um, kind of check yourself in, in that respect. I think that's kind of important um, because financial stress with games can be very, very real, um, mm. especially when you have that fear of missing out. So that would be something I would say. 
And the other thing that I personally started to do, um, this is kind of what Sarah mentioned, is certain things that were happening in the community stressed me out. And I got so stressed out that I went from being that person that was on Instagram nearly all day to just, oh, I just yeah. cut it out. Yeah, I remember that as well. Yeah. I don't remember the issue, but I remember you being yeah. gone for a bit. I, I just completely, because I had enough. I was like, there's oh. so much toxicity and stuff going on right now. I can't handle this. Mm -hmm. It is starting to affect me mentally, and I don't want to be in this community anymore. And that was kind of how I felt. I just sort of felt like this is not healthy anymore. Oh. Now, another thing is the way Instagram's changed. Instagram now, if I go to scroll through, I don't get the people that I follow. I get advert. I get people that I don't follow showing up in my feed. Yep. Repeatedly. And it's not in order of when someone posted. So yeah. I used to be that person that would go through and I would religiously go and I would, you know, go through people's, like, the stuff people post and like, oh, you know, that's, you know, a nice picture of the new horse or whatever. And I would like them and comment and stuff like that. I used to be that person. And after that whole scenario and the way Instagram changed, I decided enough was enough. I put a limiter on my Instagram account that meant I could only be on at most. I did take a big long break, but I did put a limiter that meant I could only be on Instagram for at most, like, 15 minutes or 10 minutes a day. And... Wow. Um, I made it that I literally could not spend any extra time and you know what it was the best thing I've ever done and I don't regret it I feel horrible to a degree because I don't interact with people like I used to on Instagram um, and I think there's some interactions that I definitely lose there but it has been so much better because I'm not sitting there waiting for the next huge big massive drama that is going to just encapsulate the whole community and cause such a toxic um, thing because I think for me mentally that was just so much and I just couldn't take it so for me I decided that was stress that I didn't want I wasn't going to deal with and I'm not getting I'm not nobody's going to pay for my therapy um so nope. for for that reason I was like you know what nobody's going to pick up this bill so I was like I am just going to get out of this situation because it's not healthy. Um, so I think uh, one thing that I've actually recently been doing is uh, in the evenings and stuff like that, I actually leave my computer. I don't do it every day. I've, I've tried to do it on and off now, but I will leave my phone and stuff because I think we're all prone to that of the endless scrolling on mm -hmm. Instagram or yep. other apps and always having to be there in case anything happens. We're always on that edge and I think that causes a huge amount of anxiety. And I've noticed this just in general, the amount of people now that I think, I think there's a more awareness. I definitely think there's more awareness, but I think we're all standing on this precipice waiting for the next drama, whether it's in the world, whether it's just in the Star Stable community. Um, it's that anticipation of something about bad is about to happen. And I don't think that's healthy. So I think we it's its about being able to switch off. And I think leaving your device, turning it off, and just putting it... At, even if you just put it the other side of the room, mm -hmm. where you can't get to it and the notifications are off, it's honestly so much better for you. I feel way much more, like, mentally better doing that. So I, I highly... That is probably my biggest tip, is just... I know it's that saying, put the phone down, but put the phone down. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> put it down. Uh -huh. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome tips. Awesome tips. And we have already done touching base of what we're sort of, I felt like I separated this a bit because mm -hmm. it's in game and outside of game. And that is community oh. on social media, which is highly active. Do you mm -hmm. believe there is a stress? We are all content creators here, so I feel like we have. Good, good people here. Do you believe there is a stress to keep up with it or be a part of it, Abby? Yes, I think there definitely is. Um, it's useful as a content creator in general to be in the know of what's going on. Whether or not you choose to engage with it is your own personal uh, opinion, but it's good for you know us as a community to be aware of potential issues, um, but then to get involved is a different situation you have to be very very careful about what you're talking about what you're you know even if negatively you're promoting something you do have to be aware of the fact that you're promoting it 
you know, you're giving attention to it. And the biggest drama killer is to not give attention to it. So as exciting as it can be, you know, to be a part of or to be in the know about drama um, and stuff going on in the community, that we do get a little bit too involved and we feed into it without knowing that we do. It is quite sad to watch that happen because I love how active, you know, the Star Stable community is on social media because it's beautiful to see people creating. It's beautiful to see people, you know, really blossom, not just as content creators, but as people, you know, as they discover things about themselves. Unfortunately, the downside of that is uh, a lot happens. Um, and yes unfortunately jumping on trends or jumping on drama is a huge mm. part of it i think each individual content creator has to make that decision of what is worth my time to address and what mm. is going to be more beneficial if i just leave it it will die down mm. on its own um but certainly there is definitely a stress um it's saddening but it's it's just a part of life unfortunately social media does yeah. that and as tc said sometimes you just gotta walk away <laughs> yeah take that break it's important uh, -huh. uh cc what do you think um i think there is a lot of stress with social media just overall um no matter if it's star stable or not because it, it kind of feels like if if you don't keep up with it, you're just gonna be left behind and then you're gonna like lose everything you build up to. Like you're gonna lose all your followers if you're not, you know, active and visible because there are so many out there um, creating everything like every day. There's huge ton of new, new content. I think there's a really big stress with that, you know, just keeping up. It's so hard to know what is gonna like be the new thing um, mm. it's so hard to like read what youtube or instagram like how how do they work like how how do you make your stuff be visible to the people you want to show your stuff to like yeah like tc mentioned you don't know if your followers like sometimes i can get like oh i'm so excited for this weekend on a Monday and it's like what mm -hmm. that's the past week and like what happens like happy Friday and then it's like Tuesday it's like what <laughs> and it's so confusing so that's a huge part of that as well just stressing like what's going on <laughs> mm. um, and also it takes a lot of time and effort into creating content it's like it takes mm. a lot of time to come up with an idea then uh, do it uh, and then you know post it uh, and then mm. also like is it the right time to post it now or like <laughs> so um, yeah I do think there's a lot of stress and also like it's it's always there it's always in your phone you always have your phone nearby and it's always gonna be like ding 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 <laughs> so yeah it's really like put it down and be like really like take time to uh, notice how much uh, you are on your phone each day um, to really be like okay I'm, I'm gonna open up Instagram now at 3pm uh, mm. and then you're gonna scroll and then you're gonna be like oh I, I, f I feel done then it's like oh how much is the clock is it like two days after or <laughs> like <laughs> <you know? laughs> yeah yeah like mm. put an alarm on your phone and be like how much Time has passed. Yeah. Mm. Mm? I, I surely agree. Uh, and I heard from friends that uh, when it comes to being the content creator, they I've heard from friends that they, they get stressed when they don't publish something one day. And yeah. uh, I used to it's be crazy. the same. Like when you start, because I feel like there are so many tips out there on how to be a, how to have a successful platform. Mm. And for some, it helps. But for others, it only causes stress. So remember there are tips but you don't have to follow them like it's yeah. the rule book <laughs> mm, you do um you. yeah you do you um what do you think siren yeah i do think stress is a part of it one thing is i don't really get involved when drama happens the only time i really like address something is when 
uh, let's say the teams being attacked or people are attacking other people for having an opinion when the Yorvik Frisians came out uh, and I said that I really liked them uh, and I really liked everything that went into them I got personally attacked in my uh, direct messages yeah. I had like five yeah. different people attacking me and I just had to block them I, I, I don't give in to that I just block them and I made like a whole thing uh, rule kind of for my uh, channel and as well as my Instagram that you can have an opinion but if you choose to be rude about it yeah. and I feel like it might cause a situation where other players might get upset or it might start extending the drama further then I just delete it and in some cases uh, where it's like multiple I will block the person which I don't like to do but if it happens time and time again, then yeah. I have to, like, unfortunately do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as uh, keeping up with everyone, I try, as a content creator, you kind of have to keep up mm. with everything. But I've learned to, like, not be on my phone 24-7 because there have been times where I've been scrolling through Instagram and I've noticed an hour has passed, two hours have passed. And I'm like, mm. oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> Oopsie. There is definitely stress to keep up and be a part of it because if you don't post the latest thing going on in Star Stable, then I, I have noticed watching um, the insights that followers do drop. It does drop. I have, like, tested this theory, like, wait, let me wait and see if I post this later, what will happen. I'm very experimentive mm. like that. Hmm, interesting. But I try to, like, stay on top of it, but if I miss it by a couple hours, big whoop. Um, or, like, a day or so, I'm like, alright, uh, I'll figure it out. Otherwise, try not to stress over it, really, mm. because, I mean, eventually I'll get to it. It just sometimes yeah. I and sometimes I even forget to post it because I'll like have something happen like uh, I have to do laundry or do the dishes or got to take care of my cats and just forget like oh I was supposed to do that mm. or I'll be working on content and something will be uploaded and I'm like busy at the computer and then I'll look at my phone and I'm like oh I forgot to post about that yeah <laughs> oops so. Otherwise, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it's very, very good insight. What, what do you think? I guess I've kind of already answered this to a degree, but yeah, I do believe that there's stress, you know, when you try to keep up or be a part of it, because I think there's also the added pressure. I think sometimes is when stuff does go on, I, th I don't know. I, I feel like this isn't this isn't just limited to Star Stable. It's like you almost everybody expects you to have an opinion on everything. Mm. And there's almost an expectation that you have to voice it. And in certain scenarios, I felt that actually to say nothing at all says more than anything else. Um, yeah. I think sometimes people think that saying nothing is, you know, a bad thing. And actually, no, sometimes not saying anything is the best course of action in cases where someone is trying to use something to get a platform. And I don't want to give attention to that. I don't give it the attention to that kind of behavior. I'm not going to condone it. Um, so I think that in terms of, you know, there is that expectation, I think, to be highly active on social media. Mm. But I've come to realize that actually, you know what, it's, it's not always good for you. And you have to have a certain amount of balance. I think that is important. And... You have to kind of go along and figure out. There's going to be times where you can be really active and you're enjoying it and you're loving everything that's going on and that's great. But there's going to be other times where you're going to say, no. Do you know what? I'm out. And that is the right thing to do whenever it's just too much that it is causing you so much stress that it's really messing with your mental health. Okay. Ooh, good. Okay. Then moving on. Very good insight. We, are, we have dropped it. That Well, we have uh, settled that uh, social media is stressful. I think we known about it for years basically but it's, yeah. it's good to bring up time and time again because it's easily get, to get to forget that the one thing that actually brings you entertainment every day can also cause stress so it's good to talk okay next question we try to always ask our listener on what they would like us to talk about when it comes to a certain topic and this time 
be asked what stresses them out. One topic that did come up from more, uh, more than one listener is the stress caused by toxicity in the community, something we already talked about. Um, but yeah, and it comes from both in-game and on social media. Do you think Star Stable could be more... It could do more to stop the toxic behavior, or is this, this something the whole community could work on to stop? What do you think, Abby? I think it's definitely both. I think you can't purely say, oh, this is just the community or oh, this is just the company, because that's unfair. Um, mm. If you're looking at mm. Star Stable's content that they promote, it's always super positive stuff. It's always, you know, really, mm. you know, well curated. It's always, you know, pushing the best, you know, positive side of the community, which is lovely. Um, one mm. thing I think personally could be worked on from Star Stable's side is being a little bit more strict of when the rules say to not do a certain thing, that if this player does this thing with evidence, of course, um, legitimate evidence, that the account should be suspended or even banned, removed um, in the scenario that it was severe enough. I think that's one thing that they could work on. However, just kind of reflecting back to what we said for the last section, um, the community can do more, I think, definitely. Uh, not just content creators, but just, you know, the, the players in general. We need to be really careful about what we're promoting. Um, even if you think that you're, you know, saying, oh, look at this bad thing this person does. Like, every click they get is hmm. promotion. Um, you know, they're now on the explore page more often, their video has more views, it's getting recommended mm. more. Um, even if it's all negative stuff, they're still getting quote-unquote clout. Um, mm. So we have to be really, really careful to who we're interacting with in the community, mm. who we're giving that interaction to, um, mm. whether it's negative or not. So it's different. there's a difference between saying you know, this is what this person did, here's the steps that you can do to, you know, prevent them from getting any sort of attention. And then there's the whole, oh my god, look at what they did, like, oh, I can't believe this, you should go watch their video, you know, just don't, don't do it, don't, mm. don't stop, you're, you're promoting their stuff, don't do it. Um, and then, of course, the flip side of that is ignore it. It, you know, yeah. it, it doesn't concern us. They will stop eventually when they realize that nobody's watching them, when they realize that nobody's interacting. Um, mm. So it's definitely a fine line between, you know, being able to say to someone, no, you need to stop, and just mm. going, you know, they'll stop of their own accord when they get bored and realize no one else is paying attention. Um, so I think yeah. it's definitely both. You know, Star Stable could be a little bit stricter, um, and the community can definitely kind of take more consideration into you know what they're giving their attention to as well mm -hmm. good notes good notes i and mm -hmm. uh, what do you think Cece? yeah um i really agree and yeah just as mentioned earlier really like ignore report and and block people if they are behaving badly and i i personally also be like if I see on Instagram or on YouTube, I see those spoiler channels. I, I will just click like, I'm not interested, do not recommend it, mm -hmm. me this again. Because I don't want mm. to give them any attention. And it's also, it's kind of sad that it's so, it's kind of trending with those spoiler things. Because mm. if, I'm, if I'm gonna watch like any Star Stable video, then that is gonna get recommended to me, the spoiler mm. things. Which yeah. is kind of... A bit part of why I don't follow Star Stable YouTubers that much. Sadly, I want to, but I don't really. I'm just so scared of those spoiler things that it just takes away the enjoyment for me personally. Which is kind of mm -hmm. sad. And yeah, I also um, the global chat. It's it's a big problem. It has been for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I know the new chat is still being worked on, but. Uh, yeah, it's it's yeah, <laughs> it's not really super good yet. No. So no. Um, uh -huh. So yeah, I really think the global chat and the chats it, it should be better. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that sh really should be prioritized, um, mm. and uh, it should be easier to report players if you see someone mm. doing something bad in game. Yeah. 
I do agree with you, and especially when and I can, as from a Star Stable employee's point of view, I understand mm. the players and yours frustration yeah. of reporting players that are using third-party tools or speeding mm -hmm. in game, and you see them time and time and again, and you report and report, and you feel like nothing is happening. Yeah, I totally get that, and we. I guess that what I know I can say is that it is hard what we do is thorough investigation mm. and there will always be new ways like th these players are sneaky <laughs> they will mm. find new <laughs> ways and uh, there are third party tools which we are investigating on uh, hoping to stop permanently in the future of course um but they develop and we uh, and we try to uh, find these players as well as we can but it, it's resources and it's time and uh, so it's gonna take time but mm. and we do the thorough investigations but but we just try to it's hard for it to say but try to be positive that one day mm. those accounts will be banned mm. we get to know and it takes time but in the end they will be banned yeah. and but but yeah i know it's it's hard to see them every day i understand and it's mm. super frustrating because Leave me, I came from the game and I know the frustration um, and then to work and it just like I, I just pass it forward and I hopefully one day it will be better um, and but we do as much as we can. Uh, but yeah, uh, other than that, it is a difficult to change a behavior, uh, especially for a company. Um, passion brings out the best and the worst in us and for some the worst can be really rough and of course on the internet it is easy to write exactly what you're feeling without a care in the world of the person on the other side or the company in this matter uh, in this matter um and when one starts you might there are people that are thinking like well that part person started so i might as well join um and so it builds up and builds up so so long you at least try to show a good example it is the best you can do uh, could the communities do something of course well of course we can all uh, always try to spread the positivity and be louder than the negative people mm -hmm. but as long you try is the best um but yeah it's it's a rough world out there but it could be better <laughs> And yes, of course, the chat. Yeah, it can be better. And it's also something that we are working on correcting and fixing uh, as much as we can. Yes. And what do you think, Siren? Yeah, I pretty much agree with all of you guys said. One thing I will add, uh, yeah. being uh, with the spoilers, it, it does get exhausting when um, I'll go through Instagram. I did recently unfollow all of the spoiler pages. The only reason I followed them was to mm. keep up, like, what are you spoiling? Yeah. And because I know people will come to me and ask, because a lot of people think, like, I work for Star Stable, and I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't work for Star I'm just a content creator. It's all... That's all I am. Just keep the content helpful, helping the community. That's just what I do. Um, and they're like, "How do you know about this? How do you know about that?" And I'm like, "I don't mm. know. Someone just went into the files. I don't know how they do this. I don't know how to do this." But it does become stressful when, uh, like a player will come to me and just like ask, "Do you know about this information?" That and I'm like, "Please just like follow the Star Stable page." If it's not from Star Stable, don't assume it to be true. Yeah. yeah. That's one of, like, the biggest things. And mm. with me and my channel and what I do on Instagram, I don't post any spoilers. People have gotten mad, like, why don't I post spoilers? Why don't I do this? Yeah. So I'm like, it's kind of disrespectful to the artists who mm. spend months, sometimes years, creating this stuff. So, it's just like the proper thing to do. Like myself yeah. as an artist, I wouldn't want something to go out in the wavelengths of the internet if I'm not completely finished with something. Mm. Which, nine times out of ten, these spoilers aren't completely finished. But, definitely the community uh, being 
uh, with starting drama and everything, it, it, it's kind of different. It, it's a difficult subject to approach because no matter what, everyone's going mm. to have an opinion. Everyone's going to have an opinion, and they're going to feel strongly about their opinion. And God forbid you uh, decide to um, voice your opinion, because I have voiced my opinions in the past, and people have gotten mad at me, like uh, the mm. Yorvik Frisians, when I said I actually liked them, and I actually got hate mm. for liking them. Yeah. So. It's interesting. Yeah. That that was interesting. That that was definitely interesting, because I never had that before. But I think it's just because I'm on a bigger platform and more people see me and mm. they think, uh, oh, I should join the crusade of oh. trying to stop this terrible horse from coming in game. And I'm like, that's probably not going to happen. There are people who do like this horse. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on the subject. Mm -hmm. But it's very, very good points. It's very good points. Do you have to add? Do you have anything to add, TC? Just actually, in regards to like, for example, like the likes of the Frisian, mm -hmm. there was a lot of um, really strong opinions about that horse, and mm -hmm. I think this is something that it's absolutely fine to not to not like them. Like, I have no problem. This is the one thing is I think sometimes I have noticed in it in different parts of the community where scenarios have been, um, people have a negative opinion about the horse mm. and then those that like the horse are like you can't have this opinion right and then there's the opposite way where the negative side of the community is telling the positive side that they can't have that opinion about the horse and at the end of the day your individual feelings about that horse are yours mm. and you're allowed to have those feelings whether you decide to buy the horse or not and for example like take the Frisian um, I saw the community like react very negatively towards that horse and like I did not like the long flowing mane. I didn't at all. I was like, no, that is just a big no 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 for me. But I loved, loved the braids. I was obsessed with the braids. So um, I kind of, for me, it was more of a mixed bag. I, I could see why people were angry and upset. But at the same time, I could also see why some people absolutely adore the horse. And for me, the pure black Frisian with the braids on is just stunning. Like, a, if if I didn't like that horse enough, it never would have became the club horse, you know, because our club isn't a dressage club. So, um, you know, if if I hadn't liked that horse, I wouldn't I wouldn't have done that. Um, and then like, I I feel like with me, for example, um, the day that the knob strippers came out, I think I did a live stream. And I walked up to the horses and were like, they're not my cup of tea. And I just walked off again. Mm -hmm. That was it. Yeah. Um, I didn't really, I just thought, I don't like these enough. I'm, I'm not even going to bother. And it's fine to sometimes to not care. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Th th this is, this is a big thing as well, is I often feel like, um, you know, people will say, oh, what do you think of this? You know, some people hate it. And they're really, really and I'm just like. That's fine. They can hit it if they want. You know, it's not. It's more a case of it's whenever people are, they personally attack the team, yes, or they personally mm -hmm. attack a YouTuber or individuals yes. or Instagrammers, being like, you can't have this opinion about this. You can say, I don't like this horse, and the reason I don't like this horse is X, Y, and Z. That's fine. There's not a problem with that. But you should never like go and say, you know, go and jump off a bridge because, you know, you don't like that horse or that horse is terrible. That is not an okay thing. And I think people need to grasp that is you cannot go around like behaving in that manner. It's just, it's not okay. And I, I actually noticed like some people who voiced um, opinions about some of the horses, um, that were they were saying you know i'm not keen on this horse i don't like it some of them got berated with abuse as well mm -hmm. as, as much as you were saying siren about you saying that you liked them and you got berated oh. with abuse i was just sort of sitting there going why does it matter if if they don't like the horse that's that, that's fine they don't have you know the, the, they're entitled to that opinion and this person likes it let them enjoy the horse yeah. you know it's i don't feel like um it does anyone any benefit or any kind of it just doesn't, mm -hmm. no. you know. And then at the same time, there's times where uh, something's come out, and I'm just like, I don't care. It's not my cup of tea, and that's fine. I'm, I'm not bothered. And I think people need to sometimes realize, you know, I think the problem is actually 
people feel personally attacked um, if their opinion is not shared by the majority or shared by who they wanted to be shared with. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you need to. I think you need to realize that actually everybody, everybody is as inv- individual as you are, mm-hmm. and they're gonna have likes and dislikes like you have. Things that are no no. Things yeah. that they do like and things like that. And I think people need to realize that. And I think in terms of answering this question, I think the community needs to check itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Quite oh, yeah. a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um. Because I often feel like the pressure is put on content creators to check the community. Yes. And I'm sorry, but I am not here to police other content creators. I am not here to police other members of the community. And I think it's not fair for anyone. At the end of the day, you should report on the platform where the issue's happening or whatever. Mm. And the platform has paid employees that are there to deal with it. Now, in regards to the Star Stable team and how I think they could better handle things, I've gone on about uh, my issues around chat safety and things like that before. So I'm going to keep this brief because I've I've no voice my opinion on this in previous episodes. I would like to see more done. I would like to see some kind of reputation system. So if somebody is if someone is continually reported Mm. and the evidence is there in the chat that they have behaved in a really horrific manner over and over and over again that they lose reputation in terms of they will lose features towards the game and i've said this before whether that's they lose the ability to chat whether they lose the ability to buy a horse for a certain amount of days and that goes down and down and down until the count until the count just gets banned i think a system like that would reel in so many of those repeat offenders because honestly personally i'm sick and tired of them Yes, and I've already said that it's a real deep frustration with me because I don't like um, especially a few years ago there was individuals that I could have named on Unicorn Forest that were just repeat serial offenders that they would just they would find a victim and they would go after them ferociously mm-hmm. and I would report them again and again and again and I would see them attacking people in the chat it was like their thing to do in Star Stool. Mm-hmm. Like most of us do other things. We train our horses. That was their mm-hmm. their deal. Um, so I find it very frustrating as a player in that way. Mm. And I know that I <laughs> I know I've been quite vocal about this in the past. Mm. So yeah, I think I think those are the things that I'd like to see. I'd like to see the community checking itself and actually realizing, you know what? Sometimes sometimes we need to sit back and actually think about what we're gonna say before we say it. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know. I love that Very idea. Cute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I didn't mean to go off in a round there, sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> I am here thinking it is you that is editing this, so. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Though. Up to you. But we yeah. have reached our last question. <laughs> um, and I think we should need, we, we are needing to ending this on a positive note. In a way, yeah. which is tips. Do you have any advice to pe- players who may feel stressed by the community? Abby. Um, find content creators that, you know, make you happy. If you feel like, you know, you're not getting the happiness, then find it. You know, there are so many brilliant things you can find, whether it be like inspirational in the roleplay or the playthroughs or the just even video edits or even like you know musical things like there are so many good things in the world don't let the stuff that stresses you out get you down like just go straight for the ones that make you happy and block out the rest you know yes that sounds very good very good tips um cc yeah um i really agree with that just if someone is you know you're not really feeling happy about just unfollow them or ignore or block them if they're just being negative and uh, yeah follow them the content you want to see you know the happy and the, the one that, that gives you energy and joy also um take a social media break i mean it's mm-hmm. it's a great experience it, it really puts perspective on uh, you know on how much you might have a social media addiction and that's it's important to take note of that so yeah take a break it's okay yep <laughs> totally agree and uh, uh, yeah it is okay to take a break and if you want to have an active account 
you actually do not need to publish every day. I I at least take it from uh, my studies and um, lectures I've been on, where they have said the most important thing is actually to be regular, like have regular posting. Yeah. Is it three times a week? Try to decide which dates uh, for Star Stable. Well, then one of the days is gonna be. Wednesdays and then you can decide which other days you feel like you want to post maybe you want to have a Friday hype and like yeah, it's Friday I'm gonna do this and this and then you have the Wednesday it's update and then the Monday is like the Monday <laughs> well, At least it's free post a week uh, You don't have to do something every day and also yeah. so yeah um, And and I know this is hard It is hard not to compare yourself with others but Please try to stop doing that. <laughs> Just if you find yourself doing it, as we said before, take a break, step away, mm. scroll away. It is it's an account. Stop following it because mm. it might. Actually, comparing is one of the biggest issues we have. Yeah. You can never yes. be that person. You need to be yourself. So if you're finding that one account is starting to stress you out where you compare yourself, even if that person is awesome, unfollow it. That person does not want to post anything that is making you feel horrible. It is okay. Yeah, there's a... And then, Siren, what tips do you have? Oh, what tips do I have? Uh, pretty much everything that I've kind of covered uh, in this podcast. Uh, definitely take a social media break. There's normally, uh, like around holidays, I will put the phone down probably like for like the remainder of the holiday. Just so, like, I'm with, like in the moment and in the now, instead of being on the phone. Because yes, social media is incredibly addicting. It, because yeah. we're on. Think about it. We can get information any way we want to. We can get it through a computer. We can. We can get it through our phone. I could yeah. search up now. Fun example. Um, what horse breed is the best for beginners? And I can have yeah. a whole list of breeds that are great for beginners but might not actually be great what else uh oh when drama is started within the community if it gets me upset i ask my um, myself is it really worth it and would i say this to this person that person was standing in front of me right now and another point that i want to make is because i see this with the star stable team and bigger content creators i treat each artist as i would want to be treated and when I see people going after the team, I'm like, well, you wouldn't say that mm. to someone you admire. Think about that before you make a comment like, oh, the team needs to do this and the team needs to do that yeah. or they don't care. And mm. that very much annoys me because mm. I do believe in, like Thumper said in Bambi, if you have, um, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Yeah. yeah. And that's something I very much post about in my stories and on um, my page and my channel. If you really don't have anything nice to say, just don't say it. Yeah. Let it go. Put the phone down. Find something else to do. Mm. Because there's better things that you can be doing than mm. arguing on a phone with someone you've never met and that's not really yeah. going to matter. Awesome tips. Awesome, awesome. And then the last tips from Kiki. I think pretty much everybody said everything. Uh, has no thing tips. I'll... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> um, but uh, the only thing that I kind of want to add on, and this is just for the community as a whole, we don't want to categorize people as a positive or a negative person. Yes. Everybody has levels. Everybody has reasons. And I think sometimes we need to really step back and actually say, you know what? why does this person think this mm -hmm. not all negative criticism is bad and not all positive stuff is always good yes being able to not put anyone in a box and say oh i don't want anything to do with this person because you know all they have to ever say to me seems negative yeah oh such good tips <laughs> and that was the end of the topic if i only knew how long it would be <laughs> <laughs> well, I did know we would have a lot to talk about, but I'm oh. quite amazed that we had so much to talk about. But I'm mm -hmm. always amazed with every topic, really. <laughs> but I, it, good points, good notes, 
Some I might even take over to work. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> good to know for the team. Uh, and yes, thank you guys, everyone, for all your points, opinions, and uh, things you've seen in the game. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you for having thank us. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but we're not done yet. <laughs> we, we have two segments left. We're, we need to end this on a more, even more positive note where we talk about the game. Favorite and least favorite update of the month, which is January and February. Let's start with January. Which was your favorite and least favorite update from January? Abby. I mean, it doesn't count as like a, an in-game update, but I loved the Mistfall series. I thought it was brilliant. Oh! And then we, which was your least favorite update? Um, probably the last week of winter activities, purely because I loved it. Um, however, I got a lot of complaints from people about the snowball cannons causing issues because, no. again, oh god, I'm bringing this up again, but the dressage community was saying that they were having events and stuff they needed to do for, like, you know, the championships and whatever and the snowball yeah. cannons were causing a bit of an issue because they couldn't practice in there anymore. Uh, but just, oh. like, that was a small note to kind of... <laughs> be aware of <laughs> yeah. i was like what was wrong with them they were fun and I was like, oh yeah they were placed in some locations yeah. <laughs> in very popular locations <laughs> okay yeah okay good to know um thank you um and then cc what was your favorite and least favorite update my least favorite was also the last week of winter uh and that was because i was already done with collecting the set i wanted mm -hmm. And also, I was cramming with my final project, so I didn't play, really. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah. But uh, my favorite of January was the update um, with, um, I think it was the second batch of Frisians, uh, Medieval Bridles, and um, the new Bobcat races. Because Ooh. I really love the new Bobcat races. Uh, and the quests around it were really cute, and um, it just they just felt fresh and um, mm. uh, just good to have. Like at the start of the game, like you have mm -hmm. the start of the show jumping and the jumping because jumping is a big part of the races around Yorick. So I thought that was really really cute and nice. <laughs> cool, nice. Um, my least favorite was this guy's clothes. Uh, I love the series. It was cool. I love the music. But having Sky's clothes in the game doesn't really do much for me. It's mm. not really my style. Uh, it's very specific clothing. Oh, then again, it probably is very fun for people who want to cosplay as Sky uh, or have mm. events where you have to dress up. But for me, it was like, oh, okay, clothes. <laughs> <laughs> not my colors. Would never wear, would never ride in. Um, and yeah, so. That's my mm. favorite. But my favorite was the Yorick Ranger's story quest, where we got to know Ooh. some more lore and, and yeah. the mystery of a certain character we still haven't met. Uh, but was in, in the Wild Woods. I really, really enjoyed that. Oh, that was really fun. Uh, Siren, which was your, was your favorite and least favorite? Uh, I would say my least favorite was the last week of winter festivities, just because I had really done everything that I needed to do. So it was like, okay, that's just there. Um, yeah. But I would say my favorite was uh, the more Frisians because I do love the Frisians. I do love the color choices that they selected. Uh, the medieval bridles are great. Uh, the new bobcat races were definitely a nice, fresh take on the older uh, races uh, that were just kind of like, eh, okay. But these were more interesting and definitely had more uh, feel to them more um just like an overall sense of oh you're being involved yeah and creating something uh that you can use i want to send this forward to the person who made the races yes Aww. she will love it uh okay and um yeah oh, and tc uh mine's exactly the same as Abby. Uh, my favorite thing was the animated series in this fall and uh, my least favorite was the winter festivities but I'll give an honorable mention to the medieval bridles because I got the one that we now use as our club uniform. Yay! <laughs> whoop, whoop. Okay. Yeah, we're moving over to February. Uh, Abby, which was your favorite? favorite? Golden ponies. They were so good. They were so They're cute. Ponies. The 
<laughs> the colors yeah. are great. Animations on point. I love the models. They're just yes, they're so cute. And the little bows. Ah, I'm gonna die. Uh, they're adorable. Um, <laughs> least favorite was the Valentine's update. I was so sad there was no race. I was so upset. I was like, no, I can't hear. Be there by Lisa Peterson while I'm racing. This is very, this is very upsetting. Uh, but yeah, that would yeah. probably be my least favorite. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I understand. Yes, and it's easy. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if it's like personal, but my least favorite was the new horse care menu update because I was so excited for it and maybe I was like wishing for, for more. Um, mm -hmm. So I personally was a bit disappointed that it felt like it's, it was more visual. Uh, mm -hmm. But then again, it's, it's like the... Um, I felt like a first step, so mm -hmm. um, I guess it's gonna be uh, added on in the future, so I really hope that. Um, because it felt like you can still do all the things the, the old way, you know, drag and click mm -hmm. and stuff. I was like hoping for more, I guess. Um, okay. And my favorite... Uh, it was hard to choose between the Gotland ponies and... Uh, mm -hmm continuation of Wildwoods, um, but I'm gonna say the Wildwoods, because the area is stunning, um, and the quests are like super cute, I really, really enjoy it. I, I don't want to talk about it too much and spoil if, no. if I haven't gone there yet, so I'm just gonna stay, stay there. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Uh, and for me, least favorite was Galentine. Um, I have to agree, but it is a thing that keeps popping up, and it's shops, there's races, there's decoration, and this year it's just shops. Uh, for me, I then wouldn't have mind if we skipped it all together, if we're just gonna <laughs> add shops. Because for me, Valentine, either you celebrate it with someone you love or with yourself or whatever you like, or it is all about buying stuff <laughs> for <laughs> someone. So uh, having your shops for me made me feel like Oh, so this is what it all is about so this year. Okay, good to know. Uh, but then again, there was a lot of other stuff and uh, that I guess the team needed to work on or something. But I, I felt like, ah, uh, why just shops? Um, yeah. Uh, and then my favorite, even though I do love the Gotland ponies and also more races, but the Wildwoods. Oh my goodness. Oh. I am in love with characters and their <laughs> drama in there. I'm like, I was so surprised as I yeah. read through the dialogue how much story, and I just want more. <laughs> give me more, give me more. Uh, so, yeah, that is definitely favorite. Um, Siren, what is your least? Yeah, yeah. All right, so least favorite, I would say probably the Valentine shops, just because mm. why have it if you're not really gonna do. A whole Valentine's thing. I know this was kind of like this, not really so much with uh, Valentine's, Galentine's, whatever you want to call it, update last year. There was actually the rage you could get like different items, but it's like if you're gonna have it, have just like a little bit more content added to it, not just the shop. Because it's like, okay, but there's nothing really to do. I mean, yeah, you can have like a parade or have an event or something but if you're not really a part of the community then there's kind of like no point yeah the horse care menu uh like cc said uh, i was kind of expecting more uh from it i wasn't disappointed i was glad not to see the silly smiley faces anymore because that was just an uh, so annoyed by it for like years i'm like when are they gonna change it because I can't take it anymore. Because <laughs> I'll miss one day of horse care and it's like a yellow face. And I'm like, ah, all right, fine. I think they can definitely add more to it. I was just expecting more for the update. Uh, when that update did, did come out. But it's it's fine. I, it's definitely like a start in the right direction, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I have a tie between uh, favorite updates. Uh, the Gotland ponies are just insanely cute. Oh my god. It's ridiculous. Like, my heart, like, I saw them in game and my heart wanted to explode. Because they're that cute. Aww. Just pretty much the new Wildwood Quest uh, line with the new area. It was so well done. 
and, and the quests were perfect. Um, I never, I always kind of assumed Star Stable would like make a horse herd for us to eventually interact with, and I didn't know how they were gonna do it, but they exceeded all my expectations of how, of how they did it, and it was really, really well done. And the uh, the full animations were just so stinking cute. Oh yeah, I know. Like oh, yes. oh. let my heart explode now. No, <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> I know. So, definitely great job to the Star Stable team for that. That was very, I was very impressed with it. <laughs> uh, TC! Uh, my least favorite was uh, the Valentine's yeah. one because there wasn't really anything particularly new there. Um, yeah. In terms of what I liked the most, uh, Wildwoods, obviously. There's really, <laughs> there's nothing extra to add there because it was beautiful, stunning, love the story. Yeah. More please. More please, yes. <laughs> more. Yeah. Mass. We want mass. More, more, more. Uh, we can say it in all languages. Um, yes. Cool. And then, last segment. Wishes. What would you like to have be added into the game? And as usual, our guests can have two. Ooh. Let's start with Abby. What two wishes do you have? I would like more hairstyles, please. I, think, I feel like that would be yes. cool. I feel like they might come with the character updates, though. Um, yes. But this one's a little bit controversial, but I would <gasps> quite like either male or non-binary characters. I, I feel like that would be cool. Cool wishes, cool wishes. And, and Zizi, what is your wish? My only wish is... I. I really wish that the wardrobe will be updated this year. Oh yeah, please, well, that's true. pretty, pretty, please, <laughs> it's, it's please. <laughs> it's like oh, I'm so depressed about it. Please, yeah. we're on our hands and knees now. Okay. Yeah. And I'm just gonna repeat myself as well. I want my off tack button in the character <laughs> sheet. Off with all the tack. I don't want to click and drag. It's the worst. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Uh, Siren, you have two wishes. Okay, so one of the wishes I had, um, I did write about on Star Stable's recent post of what type of horse colors we want. Ooh, yeah. I had the idea, if, because we have a Yorvik Wormblood, we have a Yorvik Pony, and we even have a wild horse, but we don't have a draft breed. So I would like to see Star Stable make a draft breed. <gasps> And I gave like a whole description of like a little summary of what they could do, and I definitely want to add on to it. That's one of Ooh. like the little projects I'm working on. Second wish would be to see like a desert area, like Ooh. a Wild West desert area. That would be really cool. Like very old Wild West. Cool. And then, TC, what is your wish? I'm going to relate it to the topic, oh. and one thing that would certainly cause me a lot less stress <laughs> and just <laughs> make me feel better about the community as a whole is uh, to have a reputation system, as I mentioned yeah. earlier, yeah. that uh, negative behavior has consequences. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Well, then, we have reached the end of this episode. As I said, I am... Sorry, TC. <laughs> 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 well, <I bet> <laughs> Uh, so I'm not gonna make this ending way too long. But first off, thank you, Siren and Abby, for joining. Thank oh, you're so thank welcome. You for having thank us. you. Yes, it thank was you. So much fun. You had such good points. So happy we invited you to Aww. this discussion. It really, it. I think this, this turned out to be a really, really good episode. Thanks to you too. Thank two. you. Aww. Thank you. And as I said in the beginning, you can find Siren's and Abby's links in the description down below. So go and follow them. They're awesome people. That was awesome. And uh, yeah, the next uh, episode will be, let's see now, it's February. It's going to be dropped in March, but March, April, end of April, beginning of May will be our next yeah. episode. So around there, uh, keep an eye out then on our social media because we're going to be asking about questions then in April. Uh, yeah, but in the meantime, people, stay awesome as always, stay safe, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.